going up. Stream should be up. It says I'm live. Okay. All right. Welcome in, folks. Let me hit the tweet button and the Discord button. All right. And YouTube says we are live on YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. All right. Pop out the YouTube chat here. Set it to all. Really wish I could automate this, but uh, couldn't find a good way to do it. Okay. All right. Shenmue 3, day three. This is probably going to be the last day if uh, if what my thinking is correct on this. Okay. All right. <laughs> I overloaded the encoder by toggling on and off a uh, a browser thing. Nice. Hey, folks. Welcome, welcome. All right, just making sure that this works. Okay, good. Welcome. Uh, oops, I still have to set to my laptop. Uh, encoder, this one. Okay. Yep, good. All right. All right. Let's get going here. So, as always, in case you missed last time, I do a little thing here that I like to call previously on Shenmue 3. Previously. <laughs> I've always wanted to work at a Japanese-style convenience store. Gotcha. Some fine dining here. I just got the burgers all laid out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna walk around some more. See ya. That ran... Excuse me. Hit me. What? Why don't you go take a look at the main hall? Ah, back here where all the backer stuff is. This is... Please have a look at the shrine in the back. Huh? Yep. <laughs> it's the chicken catching minigame, except with ducks. <laughs> business <laughs> it's either really well hidden or I am just actually blind um, I am I am blind <laughs> all right it's yours for 800 tokens token you uh -huh. can use a body trend signature move we or... already know those reverse body check I uh... <laughs> all right so that's uh that is where we're at in the old shenmue 3 oh baby so we uh can be grinding money <laughs> we're at the part where we need to buy something expensive great Okay, so today, uh, since I noticed that um, th there's some weird frame rate stuff last time, I actually have meters for CPU utilization and GPU utilization now. So it, it'll dynamically show 
what's actually being used now. Uh, right below the FPS bar. So, so if uh, the FPS drops, but the GPU is below 100%, then that means it's a, a CPU issue. Or uh, CPU limiting. <clears throat> okay. So we're still on version 1.02. And so we, we currently have 478 money. Um, and we need 5,000? According to... Uh, according to all that. So... Oh, baby. Can't wait. Can't wait. Alright, so yeah, we're at... 45%, 40% GPU utilization, 25% CPU. So this is not a well-optimized game from the from the looks of things. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so hmm, it'll be a little embarrassing. No, well the the move that we need to learn is the reverse body check. And we already learned regular body check. It was the it's what the the guy taught us at uh, the end of Bailu Village. It's not in the school book editor for some reason. Um, but we learned the the regular version of it. So sure. Okay, so uh, we got two thousand four hundred. So this is perfect three. I'm not sure what the rules are for this, but this is like, this is times 30 with a 2000 bet. So I think you need to... Hmm. All right, let me ask the attendant what this is all about. Excuse me. Welcome to Lucky Hit. Please give it a try. This is where all the fun is. I'm your confident croupier. Hi there. First try! Don't be shy! Sure. I see. Okay. Alright, well, we'll give it a try and, uh, and see what we got. I'm not going to record these saves because I'm going to be saving all the time What's here. What's this? Welcome to Lucky Hit! Okay. Could you pick a platform? Alright. So this is times 4, times 10, times 30. So this one, it looks, <laughs> it looks like she's got a mustache at the, <laughs> the pin. <laughs> pins there. Um, all right, so it's 2000 and it's perfect three. Land on circle all three times. Okay, so if we miss even once, it's over. So this is gonna be a good test of um, getting the, uh, uh, getting the right spot. How many spot. tokens will you wager? All right, max bet. <laughs> Must <laughs> she's got a goatee. <laughs> nice. All right, so what's uh, what should our strategy be here? It looks like the one on the right might be easier and I think I want to I want to aim for this opening right here and I guess it's it's gonna be similar to, to go for that um, so how would I accomplish that I think I want to hit like this pin on the right side of it. So something like this maybe. So we'll uh we'll do this as our our guide post here. Okay. 
Okay. So that did not work. You're not thinking of quitting, are you? Okay. Let's go again. So we got to load our save now. No. I'm good. We're looking forward to your next visit. Okay. I think that's a good place to drop it, though. Yeah, strap in. This might uh, this might take a while. What's this? This might take a while. Welcome to Lucky Hit. Please give it a try. This took like forty-five minutes in uh, the first Did half of the game. Platform. And that one was easier to do than this. How many tokens will you wager? Okay. Eh? No. Okay. You're not thinking of quitting, are you? Let's go again. Okay. No. So maybe I'm good. maybe just We're looking forward to your next visit. Dropping it somewhere in the middle, and if I can be consistent with it, consistent with the timing, then then maybe we got something. I just need to so I'm timing it to so when he's at like the end of the animation, like that, uh, so that I can at least be uh, What's be consistent. Welcome to Lucky Hit. Please give it a try. Could you pick a platform? How many tokens will you wager? Okay. All right. So let's clear that one because that that clearly wasn't doing. Uh, all right. So what if we just we leave it in the default spot, which is like like here, and then we'll just time it to be at the end of the animation. Eh? Oh my God! No, no way. Yu Suzuki. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> that one was going in. Too bad. No. <laughs> Want to go again? <sighs> no. I'm good. We're looking forward to your next visit. Oh my god. Just, just Wow. Wow. <laughs> What's this? Welcome to Lucky Hit. Please give it a try. Well, what if it turns out that this one's actually impossible to win? Tokens will you wager? All right. <clears throat> okay. Timing is just slightly off. Oh, that's too bad. I purposely left that one later. Like just just a, a little bit later. And that turns out to really affect it. We're looking forward to your next visit. So I gotta be really consistent with the timing. 
And I'm also I I'm doing the timing off of my um my wireless video monitor here that's actually like a second behind or maybe a half a second behind the the game feed. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's What's consistent this? enough. Welcome to Lucky Hit. Please give it a try. Oh man. Did you pick a platform? How many tokens will you wager? Okay. My God, just, just, just fuck it. This fucking game. Okay, we did it. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, that's great. All right, that's a lot of tokens. Want to go again? Oh my God. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh, I'm good. We're looking forward to your next visit. Oh my god. This this game. This game. This game. All right. Well, now that I know the spot, we might as well do that. Welcome to Lucky Hit. <clears throat> give it a try. Hey, Bob. Let's uh Could you pick a platform? Let's win one more and then see if that's enough to to do it. Um yeah, we can bet up to 2,000, so... How many so. tokens will you wager? We didn't... I don't think we even had 2,000. Or maybe we did, I don't know. But now we got 60,000. <laughs> so yeah, that is uh, that is nice that um, the default spot is, uh, is the correct spot to win it all on this board. You just gotta do it right at the... the end of that animation. Or not. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Wanna go again? I'll try again with that. Uh, I, we got plenty of money here, so. How many times? I wonder if the the physics are slightly different after you win it once. Dang it. Okay. Uh, all right, soon. one more try. Could you pick up Yeah, if they did change the physics, that would be pretty amazing. This is this is clearly different. I'm sure you'll win soon. Let's eh. All right, so I'll load my save and then we'll see how much money that uh, all them tokens will get us. Okay, so now we gotta go look at the price shop, and I'll get rid of this because we don't really need it right now. Okay, so here's hoping that that's enough to. To pay for our our book thing. 
So those of you also on this part in the game, just just do that one. Don't move the his hand at all, and just uh, mess with the timing so you find a timing that works. Come on up. The prize exchange is right here. All right. I'm getting the prizes ready right now. Okay. All right. So probably going to be one of these. 10,000 each. 22,000 for an emerald. Okay. So you can get this satin jacket. Oh, baby. And this is just a full outfit. 162,000 for the martial arts outfit. Sure. Uh, okay. So I'll get two of those. Okay, well that, that'll use up most of our money. Actually, what about... Uh, those? Okay. And if this if this Did isn't enough, ride? then we're going Hello? going back to, to see you again soon. Going back Did there. Did you know that you can sell the prizes at a pawn shop? Try it out for yourself. All right. And yeah, it is it is pretty dumb that they they make you do this extra step, but at least they're consistent with make everything as inconvenient as possible in this game. Oh. Are you worried about money? Sure. I'm not a rich man by any means. Oh yeah, you can also trade items if you have a complete set of them. All right. These are the items I'm willing to so buy. So we need 5,000 panda bucks. Uh, and this will give us 4,000. <laughs> uh, yeah, so even with the money we already have, this isn't enough. Guess they're not selling because they're so cheap. Uh, if you need anything. And I'd also like money left over after for um for healing items, so we're back at it, boys. <laughs> oh god. Okay. What's the Well Could you pick a platform? Sure. How many? All right, we just got to win this one more time. So back to the bearded lady, lucky hit board. All right, so I'll actually do this off of the the regular TV rather than my TV monitor. Okay. What's my opinion on the fighting? Initially, I didn't like it. Um, now I have warmed up to the the new combat system because it it feels like, despite how they changed changed the mechanics of uh, of combat, I feel that it's it's kind of more in depth, and they they certainly made it more difficult, which is uh, which is nice. So it's a little more rewarding. And there we go. <laughs> so there you go. If if you're stuck on this part of the game, just do that. Wanna go again? Just do that. Uh sure. Let's Could you So just do this one. Oh, Don't move it all. And get it at the Press the button when I do, so you can see when I press the button. That's not going to go in. Or... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it has to be three in a row, because that's the only way to win this. Yep. See, that, that is not a win. It's close. You... Could you... Uh, what changed exactly? So, um, in Shenmue 
one and two. Uh, there was one punch button, one kick button, one uh, grab button, and a dodge button. Um, and in this game, they changed it so that there's uh, you move with the analog stick, which you didn't do in the first two. Oh, great. Um, there's two punch buttons, two kick buttons. Uh, they changed the combo inputs. How many? Um, let's see. There's a... You can actually change what target you're attacking. Um, and, uh, it feels like you run out of health about at the same speed as you did in the first two games, but enemies have a lot more health in, uh, in this one. So that's that's a main change. So it feels like combat's more difficult. And this is on the um, the normal difficulty for me. There's There's still two difficulties above this one. Dang it. Well, the, the thing is with the bow, the bow has actually been somewhat nerfed in this uh, in this game. So the, the bow doesn't have as much range as it used to. And it has a longer recovery on it, so you're way more exposed uh, to counterattacks if you use it. Um, even if it lands. like <laughs> If it lands and there's another enemy nearby, uh, you could still be just easily uh, lose about a third of your health on one poorly timed bow. And the bow doesn't do enough damage to to really offset that. If, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, then yeah, go ahead and bow away. Um, but since nearly every single fight in this game is uh, multiple targets, the value of using the bow is greatly diminished. All right, come on. Oh god, okay. Let's All right. Let's just see how much that gives us. So this should give us about 8,000 once we go turn in everything. Wait, did I not save? Did I not save when I won it? I still only have. St <laughs> I didn't say. What's this? <laughs> okay, I guess we're still doing this. Could you pick a plat? Oh my god, I was I was wrapped up in all this and. How many tokens? Oh, for fuck's sake! <clears throat> no, I wasn't wasting my money. I was trying to win a third time, but I didn't remember to save. Oh, Jesus. Because I, I wanted extra money so we could buy more healing items. Because uh, it isn't quite enough to, to go off of what you got. Okay, I might have to put the line back up because uh, Could you pick a my timing is way off. I'm just going to have to go off of what was working before. All right. So I'll do it off of this, because the timing is very slightly different, apparently. Alright, let's see if this does anything. Amazing. I'm sure you'll win soon. Let's no, I, I even mentioned when I did it that I wanted to could you pick Wanted to get slightly more money, that's so why I kept going. How many I did justify it when I did it. But I t I just missed a step and forgot to save after I won. This is slightly off. I'm gonna have to change that. How 
I could also just uh, try the other ones that are slightly lower stakes rather than just bang my head against this one. But we did have something consistent. <laughs> and now this is the opposite of consistent. Okay. I'm sure you'll win no. I'm sure I won't. I'm okay, so I'm going to load my save and we'll uh, see if we can have slightly better odds somewhere. Okay. Uh, that's times four. That's not great. So this is circle two. Times 25 for 2,000. So this one, it can only go in one. And I think we have to hit it twice, maybe? Excuse Actually, me. Actually, I don't want to talk to her. Want to try Lucky Hit? Lucky Hit is simple, but it takes some finesse. That's what makes it fun. Hi there. I'm ready when you are. I see. Sure. Oh, God damn it. Wrong button. What the? Want to try lucky hit? <laughs> what the? Sure. Pick a platform. They all look nice. All right. What's the rules of this one? Land on it twice in three tries. Okay. So this is slightly, slightly better. Okay. So it looks like approaching approaching from this direction here is not going to be the way to go because there's like a little a little wall right there protecting that one. So however we get there, it needs to be through the center portion and down like that. Um And I think what I'm thinking is dropping it right here. And that'll that'll give me the result I want. How many tokens will you bet? Yeah, something like this maybe. And if I can if I can hit this pin and get it to go left off of that one, that'll probably be what I want. So, let's, uh, let's do that. Turns out I'm pretty good at this. Oh. <laughs> Again? All right, I got to save this time. No, I'm good. Come again. Turns out I'm pretty good at Lucky Hit, despite never playing it in any of the speed runs or casually. <laughs> what the? <clears throat> Want to try Lucky Hit? Oh, uh, we're doing this for money for a required plot thing. Pick a platform. We need 5,000 5, in-game currency dollar things to Hum to buy a thing to progress the plot. Just like in the first half of the game. I don't think that's the right timing, but we'll find out, I guess. Not the right timing. Hey. <clears throat> D 
definitely not the right timing. Okay. Huh. Okay, that's... The X button does that for some reason. Sure. How many... Yeah, I don't blame you for uh, for cheat engineering it. That is that is valid because because this is definitely some bullshit. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe I just got really really lucky that first time. Well, we'll load the save and see how much money that gets us. You can't quit. Just okay. <clears throat> yep, Yuzuzuki is SSHing into into Unreal here and changing the physics. Prize exchange is right here. Gambling actually isn't random. I'm getting the prizes ready right now. Gambling isn't random, and I'll leave it at that unless you want to know what the trick is to it. But it's not like you can make large amounts very quickly. There is a way to uh, to guarantee payouts. Uh, 10,000. But it is really tedious. Which is why I didn't do it. How much left do we have? This. Okay. Surely that's enough. This one? Ooh, that's a mighty good deal. Hope to see you again soon. What about dice? That's also you know that not you can random. Sell the prizes at a pawn shop. At a pawn shop. Try it out for yourself. If you want to know what the trick is, I'll tell you. But if you want to figure it out for yourself, there is an in-game thing that's a mechanism for that. But it's you're not going to make a ton of money all at once doing that. Oh. Are you worried about money? I'm not a rich man by any means. Oh yeah, you can also trade items if you have a complete set of them. These are the items I'm willing to buy. All right. Okay, $8,000, that should be, <laughs> that should be plenty. We might as well get rid of those, as we'll never use those for anything. Okay, so now we can buy our dumb kung fu book. Sorry if I can't offer much. Come back if you need anything. I wonder if a different pawn shop actually offers more, like across the across the city or something. But eh, whatever. Whatever. Because that's uh, that's how it was in Shenmue 2. That um, you had to kind of shop around to get the the best return on your pawn shop stuff. Alright. So yeah, it looks like the GPU is just hardly ever going above 50%. It's at 55%, 56 And CPU is at below 30 at nearly all times. So this is... This has got some optimization problems, it looks like. Yeah, he's, he's rich in gift shop accessories. Excuse me. All right. Have you returned for the reverse body check? It is yours for 5,000 yuan. Will you make the purchase? Sure. So how long did it take? 40, 40 minutes after starting the stream. We got it. So roughly about as long as it did before. 
Okay, so we can afford that. And how many of these? Oh, yeah. That'll, that should last us. And we still got 1600 I'll take it. Mmm, a wise purchase. Now, here's the reverse body check skill book. Hi, Ryo. Shenhua, look. I got the Baji Tren Arcane book. This is the key to beating the Red Snake's boss. We can hit the guy with it. That's great. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't. Not yet, anyway. I just bought it. Now comes the hard part. Making it mine. I suggest, Ryo, that you should rest up today. Hmm? Now I bet we have to get to, to rank 10 in the in the dojo now. And we're like rank 3, I think. Uh, all right. Well, at least we're past that. Hopefully that's the last dumbass money grind in the game. I'm really hoping. Bouncing on boats, probably, with the... This is one of the eight big lures of Baji Tren. Reverse body check, huh? Hey, the last page is missing. What the? What are we gonna do? Hmm. Can we get a refund? Perhaps Grandmaster Bay will know what was on the last page. I'll try asking him. <sighs> this is the reverse body check. Oh, the man. signature move of Baji Tren. That water is looking the most powerful moves in pretty Chinese bad today. Martial arts. <laughs> the last page is missing. I believe you can guess what was on it. Please, Grandmaster. When we sparred, you showed me a few Baji Tren moves. Who taught them to you? My father and Grandmaster Tao Li Shao. Tao Li Shao. I'm familiar with the name. Seems you have a knack for Baji Tren. Please, show me. I could teach you more, but if you lack Kung Fu, its power will be halved. <gasps> I understand. Do you? Now we gotta go fight. Honestly, I don't think your Kung Fu is strong enough. Uh... Uh, Grandmaster, I... The White Dragon of Ushun Hall. I knew it. Huh? I called it. The trainee in front of the hotel is quite <sighs> strong. Try to beat him. The White Dragon of Wushan Hall. If you beat him, I'll acknowledge your Kung Fu. Yep. This is an awful lot like the first half of the game. What are we doing on food here? 55? Yeah, we're still okay. All right. We have, like, six fights to do. Great. Actually, can we buy food, food here? Can't. Excuse me. Welcome! I've got the sweetest, juiciest fruit in town! <laughs> and the Paduck heaven, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so what we got here? One for 30, two for 60. There's a three for... N three for 90? Okay, so these are all two for 60 for the best. Uh... It looks like the bananas are just as cost effective. So let's, uh... let's just get 10 bananas. 
Sure. 21 bananas. Okay. And then it looks like we can get our Kung Fu to level 10 if we if we train just a little bit. And that'll give us some more health to work with. It's probably going to need as much health as we can get here. So, let's see. You were fairly certain? Well, me too, because everything else has been copy-pasted from the first half of the game. Give it a shot. And so is this, so... <laughs> I think anybody who has seen the first half of the game probably could have guessed that. I was just hoping it wasn't the case. But, surprise, surprise, it is the case. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Hey, Ed. You missed the money grind, Ed. I did lucky hit for about half an hour. And, uh... We got enough money to buy our expensive Kung Fu book. And now, surprise, surprise, we we need more Kung Fu. Just like the first half of the game. You're so disappointed. Oh, dang. Well, I can, I can load my save and we can do it again. Just for you, Ed. I'll load my save. Should I keep going? All right. We have level 10 Kung Fu now. I'll save it for later. You dare me? All right, let's see if I can... If my luck is still just as good. Pick a plan. Alright, so there's a trick to this. But I I got rid of the the marking. So we just gotta eyeball this. And that is not right, but okay. Dang. So for this one, you get three tries, but you have to make it in two of those three. And I actually got it pretty quickly. Like I got, uh, there's another set of boards that I got. Um... No. Come again. So for, I initially started off on these, where you, you have to hit, uh, get one of those two um, with all three of them. And I actually got this on my second, uh, no, third attempt, third attempt. Um, the first time I did it, I got the ball in there twice, and then the ball got stuck in the middle of the board. The physics system just went, nope, how about the ball just gets stuck? <laughs> but then I got it to try after that. Cool story, Purry. Alright, let's go back to, back to Kung Fu. So that's all you missed. It was very exciting. And then I, I also won and then forgot to save. <laughs> so I had to do it again. <laughs> okay. Alright, so White Tiger is one of those up there, I guess. I'm assuming he's ranked Excuse 9 or 10. Me. Have you come to train? You can practice your kung fu okay. on a wooden dummy. Or polish your techniques by sparring. Our issue now is that we need to test your skills in a real match. We need to beat the guy what at this uh, at this school named White Tiger. And I'm assuming he's either the highest ranked guy or next to it. And we've only beaten two out of the ten fights here, so Do you want to have a match? And uh, the guy Next opponent will be Blue Wolf. Our Kung Fu teacher won't teach us our new Kung Fu thing until we beat White Wolf.
Look at this guy's eyebrows. Oh, man. Uh, the guy we needed to beat last time was... Uh... Yeah, I think... Uh, no, it was White, White Tiger. Luckily, these guys are kind of easy. You're on a roll. You beat Blue Wolf. That makes you third to one. All right, we're the third Dwayne. Most impressive victory. That's the spirit. Place hold Well, I think these are just like their rap names, I guess. They probably have different names. Excuse me. But in you come to train? when they're kung fu and they you need their kung fu names. Kung fu you can do you want to have a match? Oh, is this White Wolf? This is White Wolf, okay. I, I thought there were 10 sets of fights, but... Alright. Maybe this guy is way harder. Dang it. Did I forget to heal or something? Hmm. Uh. It seems you lack the foundations of a fighter. Use the wooden dummy to work yeah, yeah, yeah. your kung fu and improve your techniques. Yeah, that was actually close. In other words, you need to train more. Uh. Have you? You can. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that triangle button well well you even beat white wolf that moves you up to fourth dawn i have to admit you have some impressive moves all right we're the fourth dwayne now all right now kung fu man can teach us our kung fu and we can be disappointed by the ending to the game, probably. <laughs> by the way, if, if if this is like very near the end of the game, I will be doing King's Quest Three if the game finishes like within the next, let's say, two or so hours, two or three hours, and we'll get a couple hours of King's Quest Three in. Master, what's the matter with you? Didn't you hear what I said? Did, did I? I just... Your kung fu isn't good enough. That's why I told you to train. Okay. Defeat the man... Oh, White Dragon. White Dragon in Wushun Hall. Oh, that was White Tiger. Got that? Dang it. White Dragon at Wushun Hall. Got it. Good. Now go do it. I will. Okay, I guess we beat all the tigers, and now we're on to the dragons, maybe? All 
our brain kung fu. I have a feeling King's Quest 3 is going to test our patience kung fu from everything that I've heard about it. Alright, let me through here. Let me through. Excuse me. Alright. Do you want to have a match? So hopefully the guy we're fighting Gold is a dragon. Wolf will be your opponent Gold this Wolf. Time. Okay. Man, this guy's enormous. Dang. All right. We almost got him. Okay. It seems you lack the foundations of a fighter. Use the wooden dummy to work on your yeah, 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 yeah. And improve your techniques. In other words, you need to train more. It's great that they don't let you skip this. Hey, Chuck Norris does it. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You Heroin's Quest? Uh, yeah, cause it's free, isn't it? I think it. I have it in my Steam library, and I think I might have it on my my DOS PC as well, cause I think it actually works in Windows 98. I think. Can't remember. Man, that guy has a uh his double palm thing just completely breaks my guards. Okay, now I can finally skip. Excuse me. You Do you want How could the game be almost over? Because this has roughly mirrored the first act of the game. And the first act of the game was practically over at this point. Get him! Get him! Okay, we got him. <laughs> Unbelievable. You actually beat Gold Wolf. That makes you fifth to one. All right, fifth Wayne. A true testament to your efforts. But there are even stronger opponents that await you. All right, hold on. I got to eat a bunch of bananas. Have you come to train? Only like a third into it? From what I've heard, nope. Or polish your tech. You what? A fight, eh? Let's see. Red Dragon will you currently fight with moderate skill? Sure. Impressed. 
All right. Give him the bow. Well fought. You beat Red Dragon. That makes you sixth dawn. Set your sights even higher and keep climbing. All right. Soon we'll be the Dwayne. Excuse me. Have you, you what? So, you wish to fight? Black Dragon should be the perfect opponent. Yeah, there it, there's a possibility this game is not very good. Hey Gander. He actually got the first hit in there. What's with this guy? <laughs> All right, what we found the strat. Magnificent fight! You beat Black Dragon, so you have been promoted in rank. Keep it up, warrior. Okay. Excuse me. Have you come to one? So it is a fight you seek. You shall fight Blue Dragon. He's a rather strong opponent. So so far, the only guy that's given me any sort of trouble was the the enormous guy with the super long reach. Was that there? <laughs> uh. Hmm. It seems you lack the foundations of a fighter. Yeah, I guess I was a QT, you maybe. A what? Dummy to work on your kung fu and improve your techniques. In other words, you need to train more. Sure. All right, we need to we need to go get some more fruit. All right, so this guy, I cannot just use the trees. The standard cheese strat, apparently. Same price. All right, three hundred dollars with the bananas. Yeah, it wasn't even a prompt, though. Like, I know you have to do the, the triangle, circle, X, square, and then circle input. But it didn't show anything. Excuse me. You... What? So... Alright. 
eat the win. You're no simple opponent. Got you. Go. I'm impressed. Dang it. Oh, the bow. If only it had the range that it had in two. How is he able to block that immediately after kicking it? Is that all you're this is, yeah, that's over. That there were some bullshit blocks there that he should not have been able to do. Calling bullshit on some of that. Excuse. Ragdolls or something else. Yeah, that won't work. Try this. <laughs> he just kind of lays down. <laughs> you beat Blue Dragon. You're something else. All right. I'm happy to we beat a hundred-hour game in rank. ten minutes of fighting. Excuse me. You can practice. What? It's as if you live for the fight. It's as if I need Let's to do this for the story. The valiant opponent, the one and only White Dragon. Okay. I wonder how you'll fare. Hey, Cyrus. All right, the ninth Wayne. Looking for kung fu? No, we're um, we're leveling up our kung fu. Because we, we got money to afford a skill book. And the guy, the fisherman guy, is not going to teach us how to do the move unless we we're filled with kung fu. This is not going amazing. Yeah. 
that all you're made of? Yeah. Dang. All right. Hmm. It seems you lack the foundations of a fighter. Use the wooden dummy to work on your kung fu and improve your techniques. Uh, In other words, so you need to train more. Each time that we lose to a new opponent, we get the unskippable "Hey, do better" cutscene. Just thought I want to see that cutscene again. Next game. Okay. Man, the GPU's up to 76, 77% here. Man, that that combo. Dang. Uh. It. All right. I'm gonna eat a bunch of bananas. Try again. Excuse me. All right, so clearly I gotta, I gotta get far away from the guy when he's doing his, uh, his combo. Okay. Looks like I need to dodge right for a lot of his attacks. I was blocking that whole time, and it didn't uh, use up my block gauge. All right. Excuse me. You, you. Well, we have to prove ourselves worthy of losing, of learning the technique, so that's why we gotta, gotta do this. Okay. 
he wouldn't dodge. Oh, shit. That's the closest we've gotten. I was trying to dodge around him, but not quick enough. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, man. Thank you. This is the last, uh... The last dude we need to beat here before we can advance the plot. And I almost beat him just now. Oh. Guys, the power of the boat, too. So close. It's so close. Excuse me. We're almost you, the Dwayne. It's as if you live for the fight. Ah. Uh, so close to becoming the Ur Dwayne. Sometimes the bow has, like, double the range, and sometimes it doesn't. And I need to dodge right against this guy. I need to remember to dodge right. Nope. Unless he turns while he's punching. Alright, I guess we're buying more bananas. Ah. This isn't good. I agree. I agree, yo. I paid a hundred dollars for this. <laughs> All right. Good thing I have all that money from the gambling we did. I could just be loading the save here whenever I run out of fruit, but that doesn't quite feel right. I'm okay with save scumming the gambling because that's bullshit, but this, not so much. Yeah, just so we can learn the reverse body check. Yeah. 
Got him. Oh, you bested White Dragon. Okay. That's something I thought I'd never see. Congratulations on another promotion. All it took was max range you know, bow. Rarely sees a warrior like you. All right. Great. Now Master Bay will teach me the technique. Great. I should go see him. Is it gonna pour? Oh. Yao Wu has never seen Kung Fu on the scale of this. So yeah, it's it's just worthwhile gauging how how long of a distance is. Luckily the, the distance of the bow is like just long enough that you can still hit them when they have their guard down before they get close enough to to start guarding everything. Alright. Boy, was that fun. Though I guess it beats walking around in circles. Hmm? Oh man, catching death. <laughs> I defeated White Dragon at Wushan Hall. So please, teach me the Ba Ji Chen signature move. Hmm. All right then. Oh? It says here. You must know the body check before learning this move. Can you do it? The body check is a move where you dodge your opponent's attack and circle around them. Try it on me. Try again? No. Because we're only going to use this once in the QTE and then never again. You may well learn the technique, but if you lack the proper skill, it will not be effective. So you had better keep training. Yes, of course. Thank you. No, nope, we're not catching ducks. Did you figure out what the Baji Trend signature move is? Yeah. Grandmaster Bay taught it to me. Sweet. This time that bear guy's going down. You, me, 5 p.m. In front of the Red Snake's hideout. Got it? Got it. Yeah, that was it. We have mastered that move. Okay, so we have like eight in-game heals or in-battle heals now. So that, that should be it. Yep, Ren. Ren is in the game. He is. He is barely in the game, though. Like it is. <laughs> it's still a bit early. I guess I'll come back later. Okay, so this gives us a little time skip thing. Finally, this is like the first time in this half of the game where it's giving me the the time skip. What is it? First the red snakes, now this little Betty. Oh, it's her. What exactly are we up against? Huh? You're asking me? <laughs> we mean you no harm, ma'am. You can trust us. Where did the people here go? I 
have no idea who you mean. The red snakes that were holed up here. And that guy that looks like a gorilla. Not exactly hard to miss. I had them leave. Huh. This land belongs to me, so I had them leave. Do you know where they went? They said they were headed to the old castle. The old castle? The one across the water. They even took a young lady. A young lady? Yo, let's go. Nothing left to do here. Oh. Uh. Is that Landy? Letter for you. Mm. Oh. We've seen that character before. If you want to save your little girlfriend, bring the mirror to the old castle. Where's this from? A woman suddenly appeared and left here with your friend. <sighs> nice going, Shenfa. The yeah. Red Snakes got your friend. What, Leo? Come with me. Oh. That woman. Is this girlfriend that girl that was with you? I'm going to help her. <sighs> now hold it. There's nothing we can do today. <laughs> Damn. Just sleep on it, okay? Let's meet at the port tomorrow to hatch a plan. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. Oh, man. We can always call Goro. See what Goro's got to say about it. Yep, there's, there's three kidnapped people that we got to rescue now. All right, can we stay in her room now? Nope. All right, let's claim our free apples at least. Dang it. Keep forgetting they changed the door button. Every single day I play this, Looks I've good. had Looks that issue. Like I'm hitting the X button to open the door. Yeah, that's true. They've been pretty inept kidnappers every single time. So it would be weird if they changed that now. Kind of weird that the the docks area hits the GPU harder than the the main town does. Must be the water. Castle. It's that building right on top of that mountain. It used to belong to nobles that ruled over Nyawu. So Shen was there. Hey, <laughs> what's that? Huh. Oh, do we have a fake mirror? Huh? <laughs> That's just a crappy counterfeit. Might be useful for something. I think I'll take it. If it comes down to it, 
I can bribe them with it. No way. What would happen to Shenhua if they found out it's fake? <sighs> Get in the game, would you please? That mirror is the key to the treasure. I can't go along with that idea. <sighs> Whatever. In any case, we need a boat to take us across. We have to catch to chickens. Ready. Fine. What will you do? Oh, well, I've got a little something in mind. When you're ready, come to the second floor of the ferry terminal. Got it. Wait, I thought we were getting a boat. All right. I'll take you on my boat if you can prove your kung fu is good enough by catching 20 chickens. Actually, ducks. Uh, find a boat to take us across. Okay. Uh, where's Kung Fu Man? Excuse me. Oh, there go my knees acting up again. Looks like I'm getting up there in my years, too. I'm trying to get to the old castle across the water. Would you mind if I borrowed your boat? To the castle, you say? I'm afraid my boat sprung a leak. You can't fix it? It's being fixed, but who knows when it'll be ready. I'm sorry. Could you ask someone else? I see. All right. This guy. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? I'm trying to get to the old castle. The castle, eh? Sorry to say, I've already promised someone a ride. Is it Ren? Sorry. I got the money up front, so I can't take the boat out now. He's some rich guy from somewhere. He's taking his sweet time, too. Sorry, but you're gonna have to ask someone else. I see. Okay. So that didn't give me a ding there, so I'm assuming we don't have to track down Rich Guy and convince him to uh, give up his boat ride. Excuse me. Does this guy even Are have a boat? You a fisher too? You can have my spot if you want. Actually, I have a question. Is there any way to get to the old castle? I've never heard of it. Anyone who can get over there has probably gone to fish. I see. I see. Yeah, the... Um, so at the end of last time, we were figuring out a kung fu to beat uh, the guy with the crazy animal style kung fu. Um, so we had to make enough money to uh, buy a kung fu book. It was five thousand dollars, so we did that in the first forty minutes, and then in order to learn the kung fu book, Excuse um, me. we had to uh, not even a bite. Get up to rank nine at the you here to fish too? the fights over by the hotel, and then that's that's where we are. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the old castle across the water. To the castle, you should ask a fisherman. Then they'll take you across. It's not free though. Thank you very much. Needed the extreme close-up for that. It's not free, though. Is it going to be like $10,000? Oh, God. That that really makes me worry. Excuse me. Here to see the cormoran fishing. I'm looking for a boat to take me across the river. Could you lend me one? Well, I guess I have my little raft here. Oh? Is it just going to be you? No. One more person, actually. In that case, I can't help you. There's barely enough room for me and my cormorant. Well, leave your bird at home, dude. We'd sink before getting to the other side. We don't need to bring your bird. <laughs> I really need to cross the river, though. Any ideas? Ask somebody with a boat. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I can't go anywhere without his cormorant, I guess. Excuse me. Fishing is nice. Drop the line, watch the surface. What a way to spend time. I'm trying to get to the old castle across the water. To the castle? You should see if the fishermen with boats can help you. 
If you're paying, they'll give you a ride across. Thank you very much. Excuse me. What is it? No fishing today. He said that I yesterday. Went across the river. To the other side? Yeah. Could you lend me your boat? Whoa, slow down, kid. Lijiang River is no joke. Huh? A river this big would swallow up any raft us cormorant fishermen use. Really? These rafts are only good for gentle, shallow waters. If you want to get across, you're going to have to find a boat. A boat, huh? So, where can I borrow a boat? Can't say I do. I see. I can't find a boat that'll get me across the river. I should ask Mr. Bay. All right. Yeah, go find our Bay, wherever he is. He might be like over there, but he's always been over here. All right, Bay, where are you? He's not over there. Not over there. Is this him? Oh yeah, it's him. Smoking guy. There's no turning back. Okay. So let's. Oh. So just like the end of the first half of the game, I assume first half, there's a point of no return. And this is it. Excuse me. Hmm. I need to cross the river. Could you lend me a boat? What for? The Red Snakes have someone I know. I have to get her back. Hmm. Please. I'm running out of time. Are you asking me to knowingly send you into harm's way? I just... No one should set foot inside that castle. It is a stronghold of the wicked. Huh? You're not ready. It won't be like fighting one or two of those red snakes. I don't care. I have to go. <sighs> I see you have no intention of listening to me. So? So I'll prepare your boat. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Wait a while. I'll have the boat ready by morning. By morning, huh? Got it. Thanks again. So Shenfa's been on her own for two full days. Up there in the castle. I thought this was the point of no return. All right. How much money we got? 827. So that's enough for a couple heals. Let's get some... Eight, eight heals should be enough for whatever we're doing. So let's just get some more bananas. Excuse me. You won't let me skip Welcome. this. Welcome. I've got the sweetest, juiciest fruit in town. Wait, it's 11 now. So the prices do change. The prices change. I was right. Huh. Two for 60. Okay. All right, we're buying coconuts in bulk, I guess. All right. Thanks again. All right, back here for for this. We might as well listen to those other phone conversations while we're here. We only listen to Tom and Goro. And I suppose we can listen to the other ones. Oh, unless... Hey, you! Yes? You know what's coming, right? You need to pay the bill you've racked up. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No. I do. Nice. Ah, uh, thank you. Alright. 
Use our VIP international phone card. All right, Guizong, this is the guy in the suit from the first game that was supposed to come with us to China, but he got his leg crushed or something at the end of Shenmue 1. Speak to Master Chen. May I ask who's calling? This is Dio Hazugi. One moment, please. Amazing. Hazuki? Guizhong. Hey, I heard from my old man. What's going on? Huh? What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. Give me the details. What details? I don't know what you're talking this about. This doesn't sound anything like him. Are you talking about Ju Yuren Da? Come on, man. My father says he wrote a referral for you and everything. And you don't say a word about it. Oh, that. Sorry. That referral helped me get in a door. But it wasn't as simple as that. I see. So what happened? I learned a little bit more about the mirror I found in my family's dojo. You mean the Phoenix Mirror, right? Yeah. It pairs with the Dragon Mirror stolen by Lan Di. To reveal the location of a hidden treasure. A treasure. So that's why the Chiryo men wanted the mirrors. Yes. And I learned of Landi's destination. Bailu village in Guailing. Guailing? Is that where you are now? Yes. But I followed Landi from Bailu village to the city of Niawu. Is he still there? I can't say for sure. But something definitely seems off. I see. Well, be careful out there and watch your back. Guizhong, are you worried about me? Are you kidding? You don't stand a chance against Lan Di. Why, you... How is your father doing? Same as ever. I see. I really owe him one. I wish I could thank him again in person. <laughs> Appreciated. I'll tell him next time I see him. Thanks. Call again sometime. It'd be great to catch up some more. Sure thing. Talk to you later. Sure. All right. Sure. Let's call Nozomi. Get it over with. We can tell her about our waifu that we met in China. Shooing. And tell Nozomi to take a hike. Hello? That Hazuki. doesn't sound anything. Harasaki? That's you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. What's up, Harasaki? I'm relieved. Relieved? It, yeah. I just had a bad dream. Uh, a bad dream? Yes. I saw you get swallowed into a giant black hole. I tried to go after you, but I was never able to catch up. Sounds like a very strange dream. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hazuki. I didn't mean to bother you with that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't really believe that dreams are good or bad. I see. Still, I'm really glad that you called when you did. No problem. Ask you something, Hazuki. What is it? Do you ever have dreams? Well, yeah, I suppose so. What kinds of dreams? My dreams? Well, I have strange dreams. Strange dreams? Yeah, I see someone standing alone. But I don't know who they are. Yet, I get the feeling I've seen them somewhere before. That is strange. What is the person doing? It looks like they're singing, but I can't hear their voice. Singing, huh? I wonder why you'd see a dream like that. 
I thought it was strange myself, but... But what? I think I'm starting to understand. Really? I've learned a lot in Bailu Village here in Guiling. Bailu Village? Yeah. It's a village where my father trained when he was young. There, they have a strange legend that seems to have foretold my coming. A legend? The Dragon Mirror from Hazuki Dojo and the Phoenix Mirror were also made there. Really? I also met Shenhua there. Shenhua? Is this Shenhua the person you've seen in your dreams? I don't remember the dream well enough to say for sure, but I get this feeling that it's all connected somehow. It seems like this Shenhua person really means a lot to you. Means a lot to me? Definitely. What kind of person is she? Well, Shenhua is younger than me. Maybe 16 or so. Uh, what else? Well... Nozomi? Can you give me a hand here? Oh, my mother is calling for me. I see. Can you call me back later? Nope. Sure. I can do that. Nope. There is so much more I want to ask you. Nope. Alright. Talk soon. We get a solid two shures out of each conversation, at least. Alright, we already called Goro, so... Uh, let's call Joy. Let's see how bad this one is. <laughs> get the busy signal from Joy. Joy? Ryo? Yeah. When are you coming back to Hong Kong? Th this is accurate. Coming back? To Hong Kong? This one's good. Don't tell me you never plan to visit again. No, that's not what I'm saying. You're just going to go home when you're done without returning the favor to those who helped you? You've got me all wrong. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. And what do you mean by returning the favor? Well... Let's start with how good I treated you, for one. Um, yes, you did. And I really appreciate that. Right? And you're going to do something nice for me now, aren't you? I can hardly wait. Uh, um, Joy. What? What are you going to do for me? W well Well, uh... Sure. I could buy you dinner. R really? Well, okay. Where will you take me? There's this burger place Where? in town. How about the Golden Quarter? There's some nice places there. Like Ling Ling Porridge? Huh? <laughs> it's that shop where I fought the Poison Brothers. You <laughs> fought there? You got a problem with that? I'm not exactly thrilled going to a place you best remember for a fight. The harbor has a cute little place in front of Pigeon Park. You're fine with the harbor? How about Lai Lai Eatery then? Huh? I fought Sam and Larry there. Though, I guess I did kind of do a number on the place. All you do is suggest former battlegrounds. That's it. I lost my appetite. Okay then. Anyway, I'll call again sometime. Yep. I won't get my hopes up. I'd be more worried if you did. All right, mission accomplished. Damn you, Dio. Well, whatever. Just don't get hurt. Okay, I'll be careful. All right, zero shures out of that one. All right, Fang Mei. So this is uh, this is Waifu's assistant. This one's accurate, you too. couldn't have called it a more perfect time. Perfect time? What happened? Eileen, Izubi, and I were all just talking 
thinking about you at Monmo Bistro. Eileen and Azumi? What about? They were debating which of them matched up best against you. <laughs> Is this what they mean by girls talk? Neither of them would budge on which one of them came closest to winning. It was Azumi. Closest to winning, huh? So what do you think, Yosan? What do I think? Yeah. Eileen and Izumi. Which one of them was stronger? That is very um, easy. Good question. It, it, Izumi. She actually beat me, I think, once or twice. I guess I'd have to go with Izumi. That's what I thought. Izumi is really strong, isn't she? Her secret technique was really something. It got the better of me a bunch of times. I get the feeling it had a name. Sakura Festival! Ah, uh, yeah. You know well, Fong Mei. Of course! I was thinking of apprenticing under Izumi. You were? Yes! And why is that? Why? Um, well, what to say? To achieve balance? Balance? What do you mean? I mean, you're good at martial arts, right? So I just... I should do it, too. Huh? What was that? Fong Mei? <laughs> Nothing. Forget I said anything. By the way, are Xu Ying and the others at the temple doing okay? <laughs> yes, everyone is fine. They're all here working hard every day. I see. Say hi to Xu Ying for me. Okay. I'll call again sometime. I can't wait. Take care of yourself. We'll be waiting for your safe return. Thanks. You too. Sure. All right. So next is... We already talked to Tom, so now Ine-san is next. Okay, ine -san? Yes, I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. Anything new at home? Yes, well, we've had anything new in Japan. Me, so it's been a bit lively around here. Guests? Yamagishi san from Sakura Gaoka and Mishima san's youngest Megumi. We even had a foreign visitor. Do you mind if I ask you about how they're doing? Sure. Go right ahead. Alright. How's the kitty doing? How is Megumi doing? She brought an adorable little cat with her. Probably the cat from the shrine. Probably. She said the cat had gotten a lot bigger, and she wanted to show you. She seemed disappointed when I told her you had gone somewhere far away. I see. I'm glad that she was able to take good care of that cat, though. I still remember the day that cat's parent was killed by a car. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't just let it die. Megumi said you really did a lot for that cat. It was nothing, really. You can't fool me, Ryo-san. I know you're a kind person. Okay, Ine-san. I'll call again sometime. Please do. I love hearing your voice. Take care of yourself, Ine-san. And say hello to Fukusan for me. Yes, of but... course. Please call again. I'll be waiting. Yes, I will. I promise. But we can call Fukusan ourselves. He's on the call list. We can tell him ourselves. Fukusan. Oh, is that you, Ryo-san? Something wrong, Fukusan? 
Oh, I'm sorry, real son. And just when you called from China. What is it? You seem kind of down. Something happened? Real son. Akim <laughs> dumped me. Who? I see. I'm having a hard time getting over it. Fukuzan. Hey, Fukuzan. I don't know the whole story, but at times like these. Maybe a couple stiff drinks would help? Ryo-san, you're still underage. I know that, and I'm not saying it's what I would do. But don't you think it's better than keeping your emotions inside? <laughs> hmm, you may have a point. Sorry, Fukusan. Sorry? Uh, about what? If I was a little older and closer by, I'd hit the bars with you every night if you wanted. Ryo-san. We go club on Fukusan. That's in Shenmue 4. Fukusan? Uh, thank you so much, Real Son. You really are a true friend. It was nothing, really. If you get back and you're older, come out with me and lend me an ear. Um, okay. Until then. Fukusan, mind if I change the subject? Uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> what is it? Is Ine-san there? Ine-san is out shopping at the moment. Okay. I, I'll call back later then. Just talk to him. I see. All right then. Talk to you later, folks. On. There's only one phone in the house, I'm pretty sure. Uh. Alright. And that's... I should call it quits for today. That's all the phone calls you can make. Alright, so since we're on what's ostensibly the final stretch here... I'm going to step away for a couple minutes and uh, we'll be good for the, uh, the final stretch. So stay tuned. All right, let's do it after I that. There we go. Okay.
So we're going to have a nice night's sleep here in our hotel room. While Shenfa is doing ancient alien stuff up at the castle, I'm guessing. Oh, we need our free apples. Might as well. We're paying for the room. It's not letting us sleep? What? Huh? Ask Grandmaster, we did. And he said, come back at five the next, or come back the next day. What? Maybe you you can't sleep in the middle of the day now? Oh, I gotta talk to Ren. Okay, that's probably why. Alright, Ren is up here. Find a boat? Yeah. Grandmaster Bay agreed to help. Another old geezer. He said he'd have the boat ready at the fishing wharf in the morning. Tomorrow morning, huh? All right. Okay. So maybe you'll let me sleep now? Hey, Ren. What's up? If you have nothing better to do, we need to discuss the plan for tomorrow. Right. Well, hey Ren. Let's do so. What's up? If you have time to be slacking off here, we need to discuss the plan for tomorrow. Oh, I agreed. I I'd like to. It. <laughs> I. What is this? Fire extinguisher friends. A game can't hurt. What? Uh, sure. So it's, they just turned all the miscellaneous crap that they made for the game into capsule toys. Oh baby, a wet chemical fire extinguisher. <laughs> What's this? Oh baby, a dry powder fire extinguisher. Oh my god. Th that is... That's very near peak Shenmue right there. <sighs> Alright, maybe I can sleep at the hotel now. I need a boat to take us across. We did. Yeah, it's I I think that's actually clever that they that they did that. They kinda did a similar thing in um in the first two games where hey we made these models, might as well make them collectible things. Let us sleep. No? What? Okay. Maybe I'm going back to the docks? Does it really not let you time skip here? All right, what if we go back to... Back over here, maybe? 
Because we already talked to Ren. So, alright, what other dumb capsule toys are there? Alright, tennis, and then lures. That's boring. Okay, so he's not over there. And he's not here anymore, so... That's not him. He's got like a a greenish shirt on. Alright, maybe we can talk to Shrine Maiden over here or something. And I guess we could sell some herbs to uh to buy some more healing things. Isn't it this, the same quack as the, uh, isn't that an iPhone alarm? One of the stock iPhone iOS alarms. Is that identical duck quacking noise? Where's, uh, where's Shrine Girl? Huh. Maybe she's the one that got kidnapped. Uh, there's a clever reuse of assets. Here's this free duck quacking dot wave from your iPhone. Maybe it's another weird anachronism like the, the Sega Saturn in game. That there's just an iPhone in this game and the alarm is going off over by the temple. Hello, Mr. Wen. Oh, it's you! You've done all you can for today. I did? Could you come by a little earlier if you want to help? What? You'll get some good pocket money out of it. Good point. I'll be back. Okay. The ducks are spared for the day, I guess. Uh, hi. You here for a job? Um. I'm always hiring if you're in need of a job. He's always hiring, except for the right now. He'll be waiting for you. Uh, sure. All right, we got a sure out of it at least. All right, we'll chase the ducks one last time. This is uh, this is weird that the game is not letting me do anything right now. Huh. Even though we, uh, we're technically on the, the, the point of no return, according to that prompt that popped up in game. Huh. Well, the herb shop's over here, so I guess we'll know for sure if I go and, uh, try and sell something here. We've got a nice selection. And just so you know, we also buy medicinal herbs. I'm always doing sure percent. If you have a set of herbs on you, we'll take them off your hands. Oh, there's Chobuchan. I never noticed. Alright, 50. That's all we got is this. So. Forward. Now these will make some potent medicine. Three more heals. Come across more of this stuff. Hurry on back. Hopefully, I don't. I won't need money in the castle. Got a nice selection. And just so you. Hey, we'll let you in the door if you give us ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I can only for two. Okay. It's all high. All right. So we got plenty of heals. Um. 
and it's past five five o'clock so huh so the game let me um let me sleep at even at like noon before so i don't know what the deal is here so we found a boat we already talked to grandmaster bay like is is this bugged Is this... Huh. I'm actually a little worried that this is bugged. But I did make a say a hard save right before I did the point of no return thing. So... Yeah, it's a go to the next morning, but it's not, um... It's not giving me the, the Y button thing. And it's not letting me sleep at the bed. Um, and then talking to Ren didn't do anything. So... Uh, maybe in this one particular instance, they make you actually wait until nightfall to, uh, to do anything? This is... That's a right now. That's a good guy. It's a different guy. Uh, it's the rich guy boat. Alright, I guess I can talk to Ren again. Yeah, I, s I suppose they give you the day, but usually in in all the other instances, they they did let you go to bed whenever you want. And it's weird that they take away the choice at, uh, right at this part. Hey, Ren. Man, you're annoying. If you have time to be slacking off here, hurry back to the hotel and get some sleep. <laughs> okay, so... I know. What? What? So last time it was discuss the plan, and now it's go sleep. All right. Sure. Hey, my box. All right, maybe the game will let us sleep now. Keep turning the wrong way. Okay, come on game, give me the sleep prompt. Hey, all right. All right, here we go. Probably final stretch. get to get our free apples before we leave. Nope. Of course not. But we don't have to pay, uh, pay for our room at least. Posse coming together. There's Duck Duck Girl. Mr. Sure? Sherling, what are you doing here? Sure and sure. I asked them to come. Huh? Uh, -huh. uh. Grandmaster Bay. What of the boatmen? I'll take you there. Hop on my back, kids. I let you folks go alone. Oh. Huh? Hmm. 
All right. Listen up. Miss Shrine Maiden here will watch the enemies from this point. Mm. You stop the enemies here. Mm. Old man, Ryo, you two infiltrate the hideout. Mm. And what about you? Me? I'm, uh, on guard duty with the Maiden. Mm. 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 Just kidding. Lighten up, will ya? I'll just have to go to the old castle, right? Okay, already, I'll go. <sighs> uh. All right. Gotta be ready for QTEs. As I take my hand off the controller. First step is find the Shenpa. Okay. Oh no! Oh, what to do? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, the red snake stole some valuable items from me. What will the customers say? I have to get them back. Uh. My shop's reputation will be ruined. That sounds awful. It is. Can you do anything to help me? Huh? I'd like you to find the items they stole. Me? Please! You're the only one I can ask! Still... They stole three items. Here they are. Uh, uh. The red snakes are always making a racket upstairs. It's a little suspicious. Uh-huh. Please! You're my only hope! Okay. So I should find three items? Oh, thank you so much! I am forever in your debt. Uh, okay. This, uh... This had a cool... tone to it... when we're arriving, and then suddenly this happens, and... it... it killed the mood. Like, what? <laughs> oh, speaking of killing the mood... Toy keys. Uh, okay. Alright, what items are we looking for? A ruby ring, a retro camera, and a large plate. Sure. We have to... Nope. Okay. Is this a large plate? This is a large plate. I'll take this. Let's just steal all their shit. That's the peony plate. That's not a large plate. I... This this plate's pretty large. This is... And it looks like a pizza. I'll take this. Oh, the African plate. Uh... 
What's this? Can we just take I'll all take the this. plates? Is this a large plate? Dandelion plate. What's this? I'll take this. <laughs> I uh this can't be it. So it's a camera, a plate. Aha! There's a ruby ring. Alright, then it's the retro camera. This is thrill a second here. Oh. Maybe it's that, is what that was. Okay. Can't open these. Mystery of Galaxy. From good morning to good night. Mike Smith. <laughs> Antarctic Territories Part 2. Shenmue Complete Guide. The Mystery of Remains. How to Draw the Human Figure. <laughs> Alright, sure. Hollywood Cinematography. Poems, free to full reactive eyes entertainment. Sure. Smart ball technique. Looks like a Shenmu manga. Shenmu by Yu Suzuki. Alright. Shenmu 3 by Yu Suzuki. How to operate a forklift. Nice. How to enjoy fishing. That. Sure. Uh, enjoy fishing. Anything of note in here? Republicu? Uh, search... In search of seafaring soldiers? There's two different In Search of Seafaring Soldier books in here. Sure. There's that. All right, this is a pretty big plate. What's this? Mysterious creature plate. I see. I don't see a retro camera. Okay. Where is it? Yo, this is just straight. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, this game is great. I I know I've been very critical of this game, but this game is incredible. This can't be the real thing. Holy shit. Can it? Oh, you can't you can't take it. This is this is amazing. Holy shit. I this can't be the real thing. This is incredible. This is incredible. Incredible. <laughs> What's this? I'll take this. Oh my god. Pepperoni pizza plate. Amazing. Yep, it's a regulation pizza. I'll take this. Alright, we're just taking all these plates. There's a plate over here. This should be it. Ah, the large plate. Sure. Still don't see a camera. Um Man, that just Oh, it's probably behind here. Yep. All right, let's let's finish the side quest, What's I guess. This? That's not really a retro camera, though. This is it. No doubt about it. This takes place in the 80s, and that's that's pretty much an 80s camera for the most part. 
All right, now we gotta figure out which of those plates is the large plate. Here's like 10 plates, dude. Excuse me. How was the search coming? Did you find them? I found this. Let me see it. This is it. There's no mistake about it. Thank you for finding it. This camera! I can't tell you how thankful I am. Alright, which plate is it? The what? I don't even remember that. Found it! <laughs> this is it! This dish! That's all three of them! Alright. Thank you! Sure. You saved my shop! I'll be going then. Oh, please wait a moment. Huh? Huh? You've helped me so much. I have to repay you somehow. Here, take this. This is... It's just a token oh, of my right. gratitude. Well... Thank you so much. I already have like ten. It was nothing. By the way, are you selling anything? I'll give you a good price. Well, we, we do have a whole bunch of plates i'll offer you this for what you've got there oh i can't sell the plates dang having second thoughts there's nothing i won't put a price on so come back anytime Are those other plates just in my inventory i don't see them Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. That's a. There's one Donkey Kong barrel if I've ever seen one. Alright, let's do it. And actually, there's a fruit stand here. Can we, uh. Yeah, they do let you stock up on. There's nobody. Alright. I... Sure. Energy drink 14 for 360? That's, uh. Alright, two for sixty, two, three, six, two for sixty. Murdoch. A diuretic that in induces sweating. Alright. One for thirty, four for one twenty. Okay, so cabbage is, is pretty uh pretty optimal for not pressing the button a whole bunch. We don't have that much money, though. Oh, that's only four, though. So, sure. That's a lot of healing. Alright. Okay, now we should be good to... to do whatever is after this. Alright. Man, that pizza, that pizza plate though. This is, this is too good. Man. Incredible. Yep, one more side quest. That's actually the first side quest that I've actually completed. I've run across like three of them. I haven't done any of them until this one. All right. Shut up, Bob. Bust your face. <laughs> hmm? Uh. Seriously? Uh, what the heck is this? Um, uh, 
How? No, it's Chai's room. What the heck is this? That's fishy. Hmm? This is no time for jokes. Chai's family photo. Oh, that Chinese family. Chai's family photo. Oh, man. Oh. Mr. Sure and Mr. Mr. Sure, Mr. Yuan. Sure. Hazuki, Dio Hazuki. I met Shenhua in Bailu Village. Is she all right? <sighs> She's been kidnapped. Shenhua has been. Don't worry, I'll save her. Please keep them safe. There's no mini map here. This is, I think, this is one of the first times we've been in an area with mo no mini map. Hmm? I want to see what's over here. Just in case. Nope, nothing. feeling about this room yeah come on stay alert sure Did you bring the mirror? Okay. Where is she? the mirror you want here hey so this is the phoenix mirror now let her go <gasps> shenhua are you all right 
I'm fine, but... <sighs> Shenhua, go to the next room. Mr. Yan is there. My father? Yes, he's fine. Hurry. Okay. Landi is waiting. Landi? Well, you still have to make it to the castle first. I... Landi is in the castle? Roll credits. We just gonna bow our way to the castle? Not a chance. Oh, they won't let me back up. Ren, finish whatever you're doing. Ren? Ren? <laughs> yeah, this is... Oh, these guys take two bows. Well, that was that was incredible. I've got to press on. It's pretty efficient. Half of Nya Wu. Well, we, we got to Nya Wu about nine hours in. And we're at the 17 ish hour mark. So. Oh, 
want to kill me off. What was that? Alright. With this. Famous double bow. Finish my friend. Hey. Another cutscene. Hey, it's this guy. You again. You really like taking a beating, huh? Dang. All right. <laughs> okay. That was that was a beat down. Whoa. Uh, 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 no way. Okay, I'm guess I'm making a hard save. It said auto save way before all that. Oh, and now, wait, what? Why doesn't it put you here? Like, <laughs> what? All right. You Suzuki, why are you doing that to me? Hey, Ren. A little help here would have been fantastic. I, so what was the point of me buying 11 healing things if I can only use three in a fight? 
Like, like I have ten of them. I guess they don't want you cheesing out fights like that. Alright. I guess I gotta be really careful. I could... I thought I could just heal spam my way through it, but now it seems I do have to be careful. Okay. Had him there. Whew. Hey, Summer Inver. Yep, you're here for what is likely the thrilling conclusion. It's a lot of combat, like, which is a nice change of pace from the whole lot of nothing we've been doing for a lot of the game. <laughs> we finally get to use our kung fu that we've been working on all game. Okay. our last healing. God damn it. Oh, I guess I gotta just go for that counter all the time. Just try and dodge around him. Uh... I don't think the body check and reverse body check are used actually in fights. I think it's a QT only thing that um, is used for at the end of fights. Because it's like that in a lot of... Uh, in um, the first two games. Like here, we learned this cool new move right before the fight. Let's make sure to use it in the QT or in the, the cutscene. Now we use the reverse body check.
All right, hold on. I gotta eat a, eat a bunch of bananas. Uh, and just in case anything weird happens here. Okay. Got a bunch of statues. Yep, we're gonna run through another forest further into China. <laughs> ah, we're fighting all the backers, I see. <laughs> oh my god. The game likes to change your target if you knock somebody down. Okay. Yep. Is Landy going to say, hey, before we fight, Look at the wall behind me and look for your name on there. Ah, it's locked. What should we do? Isn't it obvious? Hey, <sighs> quit dawdling. Here we go. Mm. Oh, one, two. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? We kick it on three. You really are a klutz. Here we go. Hmm. One, two. <laughs> Got this one. That should just about do it. The rest is up to you. How are we even friends? That's a good question.
More. Show no mercy. All right. Suddenly fire. Landi, that fool. The Chi men belong to me now. <laughs> I'll burn Landi and the rest of it down. <laughs> it seems you've improved a bit. That doesn't sound anything like him. Landi, fight me. I will avenge my father. get my ass kicked over and over again. Oh, thanks, Ren. Pathetic. don't you? Uh, then allow me to reunite you with your father. Uh, hey, uh, isn't this what you're after? Let go of him and I'll let you have it. So the final fight in the game was against a bunch of backers. Was Kickstarter the final boss of the game? There's cats, finally. <laughs> uh, why are we getting on a boat?
this is Zhao Sun Ming. You know him? The man next to him is my father. My father was killed by Lan Di. Lan Di. He suddenly appeared in the dojo and stole the dragon mirror. Then he killed my father. The dragon mirror stolen by Lan Di. It has the same design as a relief I saw in your quarry. Something so terrible happened because of the mirror my family created. Please, tell me if you know anything. The dragon mirror and the phoenix mirror were once locked away in the cliff temple. But someone had their eye on them. They were the Chiryu men. Zhao Sun Ming wanted to retrieve the mirrors before they fell into the wrong hands. He's the man standing next to your father. The mirrors were entrusted to him. Several years later, Zhao died under mysterious circumstances. His only son, Long Sun, was raised by the Chiyo men. Long Sun? Zhao Long Sun, also known as Lan Di. The cliff temple that Zhao visited. That's where we found the scroll. I heard the Chi your men have taken it over. So, Landi is there? Most likely, with the mirror. So we're going back to Bailu? No. So pre-rendered video. You smell that? Because my nose is pointing to treasure. My treasure. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. You'd better not run, Landi. I will avenge my father. Oh, it wasn't just four years, it was... 19? The story goes on. Yeah, the final boss was, was a bunch of backers. You can start all your the following. So there's a new game plus, kind of like the uh, Shenmue 2. Sure. We'll see if that in slot, uh... oh, I guess, shortness. Let's put it there. Okay. Yu Suzuki, huh? So apparently at the end of the credits, there is a letter from Yu Suzuki. That, uh... Is worth reading, apparently. GG? I, I'm not so sure. <laughs> My name actually is in the in the credits and it is spelled right. I'm like 70 80% through the the slider bar on there. 
Yep, it, it's G for, yep, game. Yeah. It did have that pizza plate in it, though. It had that going for it. And it did have ducks. Oh, I don't know about that, Ed. A pizza plate makes up for a lot of shortcomings. Oh, no, no, the, my RPG Maker game, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to modify it now. And I'm sure it's going to be more extensive modifications than just changing the number in the title screen. <clears throat> yeah, the Grand Stream Saga is a real is a real Shenmue three. This is. Uh... The Grandstream Saga does not contain any Kickstarter backer shit in it. So, <laughs> I, think, I think we know what the Superior Shenmue 3 is. Yep, the Mao mythology. Maybe we'll learn more about the Mao mythology in, uh, in Shenmue 4 in 30 years. The test lead is some guy with just a really long name. Grand stream. Ah, performance testing. Intel and NVIDIA. Well, I'm running Intel and NVIDIA, and some parts of this game struggled to get over 50 FPS on very nice hardware. So I don't even I don't even want to know what they did with their performance tuning. I'm pretty sure I'm on the latest NVIDIA driver, so I don't think there's any special game-ready driver for, for Shenmue. Yep. They, they, yeah, they don't even have the epic credit songs that they did in the first two games. It's just, yep, here's the song we used in the game. Just looping the shit out of it. <sighs> well, Hamir992, I will tell you when I do the wrap-up of the game. And whenever all this is over.
like I do with every game I play. Disbelief, like something that this can exist. Yeah. Yeah. Getting funny, but well, there's still enough people who actually enjoyed this that they could probably still get it funded on Kickstarter, but it's probably going to take the, the really hardcore crazy fans selling kidneys, probably. <laughs> so they have... They, you got two kidneys for a reason, so that's that's two sequels right there for, uh, for Shenmue 4 and 5. You just better hope he wraps it up before Shenmue 6. Alright, to all the fans who waited many years for Shenmue 3 and to all the crowdfunding backers who made this game possible, this project would not exist without your love, support, and the connections we've made along the way. With profound appreciation for all that you've done, I am happy to finally present to you Shenmue 3. During development, I expanded the scope beyond what I had originally envisioned. I am happy we were able to include the distinct Shenmue charm throughout this game. I hope that this new chapter strikes even a small resonance in your heart. Well, that pizza plate was pretty good, at least. For as long as there are those who wish to see Shenmue live on, I will never give up on my own personal journey to complete its story. As with Shenmue 3, the Shenmue story is with you. I sincerely hope that together we can continue to spin the tale of Ryo and his adventures in Shenmue 4. This goes out to all who have ever loved and supported Shenmue. Yu Suzuki. And then it dumps you back to the start. Let's see the backer credits. Hey, there's my backer code. So if you want to unlock my DLC, there it is. <laughs> sure. Oh my god, it marks in the credits where you are with the... Alright. So you can automatically... Yep. There I am. <laughs> there's me. Okay. So you don't actually have to... Um... Uh... <laughs> so, so in the credits, um, let me see if I can find it because I'm, I'm genuinely curious if this is the case. So, so you guys might know Aquas. He, he's another streamer, uh, another retro game streamer. Um, he, he also backed the game and I saw his name in the credits it's like it's at like the halfway mark or something um so all the all the generous backers yeah okay so it's not the collector's edition so aquas got the same edition that i did So let me see if I can spot it here. He was in uh, one of the two center ones. But I don't think it was this, uh, this one. So there's A. Somebody is just A. And I'm sure that was on purpose. Uh, let me see if I can find Aquas on here. Because I'm pretty sure they spelled his name wrong. Get to the next section here. So it's in the, the the trial version tier. Bonus pack, it's not this one. Rolling Panda. No, 
I'm not sure if this is if this is the one. Am Sato. Axel, no. So it's pretty easy to spot because it's a it's a short name and it sticks out. And it was in the middle two ones. Okay, so it's not not one of this. Cabbage. Okay, trial version. So it's it's in this one. And of course you can't back it up if you need to. Uh, let's see if we can find Aquas's misspelled credits. Haku Haku, no. Taru. So here's um here's Mapbox, by the way. So that's that's the name I recognize. And here's Mapbox. So yeah, Aquas is past Mapbox. See if we can find it. Bike man, hello. So why didn't they have this music in the the proper credits? There it is. There it is. Right there. <laughs> They spelled his name wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, Aquas. So either he spelled it wrong or they did when they put it into the credit. <laughs> oh boy. Thanks, Yuzuzuki. <clears throat> All right. Let's, uh, let's cut the timer there. Oh boy, Shenmue, huh? Shenmue, Shenmue, Shenmue. Okay. <sighs> All right. Shen Mu 3. Did we beat it? Yep. Did we cheat? No. I don't consider save scumming to be cheating. It's it's built into the game, so. Nah. Alright. Things I liked. Um The art direction for landscapes and indoor details was great. The art direction and art and the oh, eh. art direction of outdoor landscapes and indoor details is great. Uh, let's see. Combat system was much more in depth than the first two games. Um. Gora was in it. Yes, that's that's how you spell Goro. 
Um, <laughs> the pacing of the story was really slow. The gameplay loop of the first, the two halves of the game was identical. Of two out of two of the game was identical? Sure. Um, let's see. Some of the combat felt unfair with some instant blocks. Uh, let's see. Story was somehow even more boring than the first two games. Lots of weird animation bugs. Um, let's see. Yeah, the the RPG mechanics kind of worked against the game rather than for it, which I didn't like. Uh, so let let me expand on these. So as far as the the gameplay loop that you did, or the, the progression of the quest, let's say, the quest line in the game. It... For, let's say, 90% of the things that you had to do in the game, they were practically the same between the Bailu Village section of the game and the the Nyao'u City section of the game. Um, and that just... That just seems so lazy to me. Like they didn't do that in in Shenmue Two, and they didn't do that in One. It's it's just in this one where it's like, hey, we we wrote half the story and then ran out of time or something, so let's just copy paste the the second part and call it a day. And then here's the ending, an ending that's not really an ending. Uh, yeah, that's that's another thing. Ending was horrible. So. There's no closure at all in this. And where like what even did they achieve story-wise in this? It, like at least in 2 in Shenmu 1 to 2 it's we we found out Landy left the country. Um we remove the obstacles in our way to to pursue him across the across the the ocean, and that's fine. Off to China, and then in two you have the climactic battle on top of the the building, um, with Don Yu, and then there's Landy in the helicopter, and that was neat. And we save Yandazu, and we we learned about all the mystical stuff that's that's going on at the Dragon Mirror. Um. And then the kind of the epilogue to that is the part in uh, Guilin where you you meet Shenfa and then you you find the Shenmu tree, and then um, uh, you do the stuff in the, the rock quarry. So that that's plot advancement there. And then Shenmu three is just screwing around in the village for the majority of the game because it's just it's looking for Shenfa's father. Which that must that might have been the whole plot of Shenmu Three is hey where's Shenfa's father and then we found him at the end of the game but what could he do for us other than look at the photo and tell us something we already knew you know um, so Landy still gets away all we achieved was saving Shenfa's father and the other stonemason guy out of it and we ended up losing the the mirror like <laughs> so so that's just the story. And then, um, gameplay-wise, so for whatever reason, they added in an RPG mechanic system into the game, which is kind of a hybrid of one and two, and also expands on it a bit with leveling your kung fu level, your attack and endurance for your attack power and your how much health you have, which that's fine. But the fact that you have to eat to recover between fights is not something you had to do at all 
in one or two and it was it just seemed completely unnecessary that they had to do that like it it seems like almost every single new mechanic that they added into three was to serve the the purpose of padding out the game to make it longer so this took uh, about 18 hours let's say um a casual playthrough of shenmue 1 and 2 can be done each game can be done in about 14 to 16 hours, let's say. Um, and it feels to me like this game, if if it weren't for all the padding that they put into it, this probably would have been like a 10 hour game. Uh, even if you know exactly where to go and, and don't mess up anything, like, man, barely 10 hours, let's say. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of what the RPG mechanic system kind of felt like to me. That it didn't really add any any fun to it. It didn't add, let's say, realism to it. Because what's realistic about buying 30 watermelons and eating them in between each fight? Like, <laughs> come on. Um, so that, uh, I, I think that was an overall not a great thing for the game and in in the possible Shenmue 4, I really hope they remove that system and go back to what 2 did, because because 2, I think, had the best balance in its gameplay systems. Um, one, 1 felt like a good base point for building up the combat system, making this the combat system really fast and fluid, uh, with no unnecessary things off to the side to it. You didn't have to train your moves or anything. You just did the combat. You either failed it or you succeeded. Um... And in this, it just felt like there's this added added grind to it that felt just totally unnecessary. Um, and I know that that actually was one of Yu Suzuki's stated goals for the project in the series, is that he wanted it to feel like you're living the kung fu life. Which, sure, fair enough. I, I get that. But it's just... <laughs> there's probably better ways to achieve that than, than the way they opted to do it in this game. Um, and I felt that that hurt the experience more than helped it. Uh, let's see. So that covers that. Um, and the ending, yeah. We discussed the ending already. The ending... Just, it, it's clearly they're just... Trying to milk this into... A shed before. Like, come on, you Suzuki. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't do this to us. Alright. Dank memes. Nightmare mode. They kept the robot hand. Sure. Uh, let's see. This this should be a drawer full of ice cream toppings. Um, this looks like a Polish name, but it's actually Shenfa chopping a cucumber all night. Swaggy kid, all bark and no bite. Big photo? Can't remember that. Uh, it's a total 180 for my shop. <laughs> yep, the chicken catching mini game. Uh, let's see, that Ren. Uh, oh, shrines. Dedicated Kickstarter backers. Um, pushed rain made it literally name shilling. I, I don't know what people is talking about there. <laughs> If you want to win, you gotta dim some. Uh, let's see. Virtual Fighter Graffiti. Horse Dance again. Pepperoni Pizza Plate. Uh, this is... Oh, we also didn't... So all the fights with Chai were just QTEs in this. That, that was another disappointment. Like, fighting Chai was one of the coolest parts of Shenmue 1. And they just made it QTEs in this, and... Come on. Come on. Um... Let's see. There's another dank meme that I forgot, but let's say... Aquas. <laughs> Rest in peace, Aquas. Oh yeah, the, the final boss was Kickstarter. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I also can't believe that. I cannot believe that. That the the final the final fight that actually was winnable and mattered 
was against Kickstarter backers. Like, like, look, I, I know it takes money to make games, but some of this shit that they put in here for for Kickstarter backers is is just. Amazing, and it's probably going to be just like that in the next one, unless unless they can find a publisher who wants to front the money for for Shenmue Four. Which after this, whoo, good luck, good luck. All right, German bass, not really, because they they again they reuse music from Shenmue One and Two for this game. <laughs> so no. Uh, and then Ayla Mao's, well, we didn't, so there, at the end of Shenmue 2, um, there was, for one, the sword at the end of Shenmue 2 was enormous, and it wasn't this tiny-ass little dagger that they put in this game, and there was some, like, magical thing that happened with Shenfo when she touched it, and she did this, and then the sword just kind of magically did some magic thing. There was there was no mention of that at all in the game. Like it it happened and then and then they moved on from it. Like <laughs> what the hell? Um, uh, let's see. So yeah, it's none of that. Okay, difficulty easy to hard. So as I suspected. A lot of the difficulty in this one is <sighs> kind of maintaining your your patience with the game, I guess. So I guess I didn't I didn't fully expand on this when I was discussing what I didn't like about it, but there were multiple points in the game where there were just hard hard walls where you could advance the plot until you needed to get a whole bunch of money. And they did that. Um, so it was five hundred dollars in Bailu Village, and then it was, I think, what was it, two thousand? I want to say, and then it was five thousand or something like that, or eight hundred tokens, and then two thousand dollars, and like. They only made you really do that once in Shenmue 2, and that was fine. Um, but the fact that they did it, they made you do it twice in this one, and they did it at practically the same point in the copy-paste story, is just so infuriating. Like, again, there's there's much easier ways to go about that. And, and the added frustration in this one is that Really, the best way to make money is you gotta you gotta do the kind of RNG, um, the lucky hit stands is gonna be probably the best way to do that. Um, yeah, there's also the VIP pass thing, um, and then uh, so you you have to change your money into tokens, do all the the stupid gambling stuff. And then you have to go buy or go change the tokens into prizes, and then you have to go to the pawn shop to get your money, and then you can go and and advance the plot. And God, that, that just this seems so unnecessary to me that they make you do all this extra stuff just to just to move forward. So there's so there's that aspect of difficulty in just not rage quitting the game because of all the, the dumb roadblocks that they put in for this that really weren't in the first two games. And then the other thing for difficulty, um, so the, the actual adventure game part of it, like going from point A to point B, um, that wasn't especially difficult, but was what was dumb was you would get a quest thing and then the quest thing would be on one end of the, the Bailu village or the city. And then the next step in the quest would send you all the way back to the other side of town. And then in almost every instance, the next step of the quest would send you on a complete opposite side of the village. So you're just running back and forth across each section of the town 
for each step of the quest and and like in the in the city for the second half of the game there's also parts of it where you couldn't run um and there were shortcuts that they intentionally left closed um so it 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 padded out the game and that's that's all it felt like was they they just padded out the game <laughs> like there's no other good explanation for it and I know that there's side stuff you could be doing along the way, like you can go and get capsule toys, and you can go play at the arcade, um, you can go do the martial arts training stuff, but again, th that stuff gets really old very quickly, and you do want to eventually beat the game, right? And you're just back to this this running back and forth fetch quest that they, it just didn't feel organic like it was in, in 1 and 2. In 1 and 2, it was just... It was forward progress, it felt, every time. This game just felt like 18 hours of backtracking. Which is not a good feeling to have in, in a video game that's not an MMO. Because those are the types of games where that's kind of built into the gameplay. This, though, single-player adventure game... All this backtracking is not at all good for the experience. Um, so that's that. And then, on top of all that, the combat system. Which I did enjoy the combat system. I like what they did to most of the combat in this. Um, combat was certainly a lot more challenging than 1 and 2, because um, you couldn't just, you couldn't cheese most of the fights. Um, so the bow certainly was effective, but you did actually have to use some tactics to the fights, which you you typically didn't have to do in, in 1 and 2. Um, and maybe that was by design, that they, they wanted the your kung fu um, studies to, to have meaning or something in this so they they want a uh, a further emphasis on that and that you're in an area where kung fu is really common and the fights would naturally be harder um so i i thought that was was good the way that they approached the the combat in this um and uh, the leveling system it, it's practically the same as it was in one and it's kind of take it or leave it um and that's just part of the shenmue experience for that uh, let's see. Yeah, and the changes to the, the button inputs I thought was fine. Um, it seemed like there were less QTEs in this game. Uh, compared to... To 1 and 2. I'm trying to think. Well, maybe there was about the same. They were just really spaced out in this one. Um... But the, the, the QTEs that were in there, I thought were really well animated. Um, which some of the ones in, in 1 and 2 weren't necessarily that well animated. So whoever was was on the team in charge of doing the QT animations, they did a great job. Um, and I thought that the facial animations, for the most part, actually were great. I did like the style, the stylized uh, nature of the characters. So they had the ultra realistic scenery and settings and, and items placed around. And the, the characters were shifted away from ultra realism in 1 and 2 to a more stylized cartoony style. Um, and I think they actually they did a great job with those. Um, the initial trailer that they put out looked really bad. Uh, but luckily they, <laughs> they changed all that and made that um, look good again. But anyways, back to difficulty here. So... Uh, the combat is more challenging. This was played on normal mode, and I felt that it was pretty challenging, even though I've, I've done a lot of combat in 1 and 2. Um, the QTEs didn't necessarily feel unfair, and I didn't have an issue with the, the PS4 button inputs being a thing. Um, but that said, I, I think this was more difficult on average than Shenmue 1 and 2. Um, not so much figuring out what to do, but it's just kind of... Do you have the willpower to to finish it? So I'll I'll put it somewhere in the middle of the road here for uh, for difficulty. And then the real the real kicker here, huh? So Shenmue Two is still my favorite Shenmue, and it's actually by a lot now. Um, Shenmue Two just got everything right as far as I'm concerned with. The story, the pacing, the combat, the characters, the music, the QTEs, everything about 2. Just fantastic. Uh, Shenmue 1 
had some major pacing issues and being the first game in the series you know you, you can let a lot of things slide with um how gameplay systems went together and it was it was kind of the pioneer for a game specifically like that where it's the open world adventure game in 3d with a whole bunch of different characters that are all all doing their thing um and was pretty unique like there's comparisons to the quest for glory series on pc um but Shenmue is kind of its own its own separate animal. And then moving on to 3, a lot of it feels like a regression to me. Like the the worlds felt smaller cuz cuz naturally you're working with a smaller budget and a smaller team. You don't have Sega writing a 100 million dollar check for you. Like I understand. I'm factoring that into my my criticism of the game here. But it it felt like the the kinds of things that weighed down the game most for me weren't a budget issue. It was more of a writing issue and gameplay system design issue and quest design. Like, those three things. Like, I don't think any amount of extra money would likely help you with designing a city that's made to be run back and forth across the length each time. Like, <laughs> you can't throw money, throw money at that problem to fix that. Um, the, the fact that the, the first half of the game and the second half of the game were copy-pasted, sure, you might be able to, to chuck that up to lack of time, lack of staffing, lack of money. Um, but to me, that it it's a weird coincidence that the two halves of the game just turned out to be almost mirror images of each other, and not in a good way. Like, there was maybe 10% different besides like the settings being different. There's maybe 10% difference between the two, and the overarching arc of it was practically exactly the same. Uh, and that's that just strikes me as super lazy, especially considering this game had two extra years to work on it. Like, there's probably going to be some good documentary at some point in the future of what the hell they were doing for for that time. Um, let's see. And I guess the the real question here is, would I recommend this game? So there's, there's two separate recommendations I'll give. One to a fan of the Shenmue series. So somebody who, coming into this, already enjoys the gameplay, the particular brand of gameplay of the series, and has already bought into 1 and 2. I would say, yeah, this is probably still worth a play, if only to see where the story goes. Um, mechanically, there's there's not a whole hell of a lot to, to gain from playing this. Like, it it seems like playing this as a Shenmue fan is more for seeing what's going to happen rather than like, oh hey, we're buying capsule toys again and and getting hit with a a, a fire extinguisher again. Uh, so, so yes, that that is my my qualified recommendation for um, for Shenmue series fans. For people who have never played a Shenmue game, have, haven't seen one before, and jumping in right at three. A big old no. Absolutely not. Like, this is... <laughs> this is not the best uh, way to experience Shenmue in Shenmue 3. Um, at the very least, play two before getting into this one. Um, cause yeah, this is, this is not a great introduction to the Shenmue series, especially if you played on the recommended difficulty, cause that, uh, that combat's pretty tough for what it is. Um, and then overall rating. So the overall rating is going to reflect both, both sets of recommendations here. So I thought the game looked great. It was, it was plenty long, like 18 hours. That, that's a decent length for for an adventure slash RPG game. Um, would I say that I enjoyed my time playing this game? I'd say I enjoyed this game about 25% of the time I was playing it. And for, for comparison, the amount of time I enjoyed playing Shenmue 2 was probably more like 75% of the time I spent playing it. I was actively enjoying what I was doing. Um, in this, 
because it was so obvious that parts of parts of the gameplay were padding, for lack of a better word, it it it's really a detraction. And especially if the payoff for slogging through a lot of the stuff is um, we already know what's next because we did it in the first half of the game. That that really drags it down. And then the ending was <laughs> also a real big letdown there. Um, but there certainly are things to like. Like it, it kept a lot of the charm that was present in the first two games. And it, it's still Shenmue. It's still the same type of game. It's still one of those love it or leave it type deals. Um, this, this just isn't a great Shenmue experience. Uh, would I say it's better than Shenmue 1? Probably not. No. Um, it's just, it feels like it's lacking the, the soul that, uh, that Shenmue 1 and 2 had. Um, but I wouldn't say, like, the game is awful or anything. There's just a lot of issues, and considering, again, what they had to work with in terms of their budgets for money, time, personnel, and all that, you gotta factor that into it. So I gave Shenmue 1 a 4 out of 5. I gave Shenmue 2 a 5 out of 5. Shenmue 3, appropriately enough. Maybe Shenmue 4 will get a 4 out of 5. Or perhaps a 5. Or a 2. Who knows. We'll find out in 20 years. Alright. That is the Shenmue. Oh boy. Okay. So what was our final shirt count? Our final shirt count for Shenmue 3 was math is hard 10, 20, 30 37 we had 37 shirts in Shenmue 3 I missed a sure? alright well some of them I intentionally didn't count because they were in um they were in conversations that we'd heard before so I, I might have deliberately um, not put that one in there. It was definitely... Okay, alright. I'll take your word for it. I was probably spaced out trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Alright, according to LCC, there are 38 shirts. Sure. <laughs> sure. Alright. Well... I'm just thinking if we want to start King's Quest today or not. Uh, yeah, let's start King's Quest today. Let's do it. Let's play a good game. <laughs> All right, so I'll be back in uh, in a few minutes here. I gotta get my computer booted up and and get some things switched around here, and we'll uh, we'll play some King's Quest three. It's, uh, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. All right. I'll be right back.
Hey. Shouting boo. <laughs> okay. Let me send out a message here that we are switching over. Switching over to... Nope. Am I spell switching correctly? To... King's... Quest 3. Boom. All right. Sure. All right. So, King's Quest 3. To air is human. Sierra Online, developed and published. I just realized I need to switch over my notes to that. King's Quest 3, hopefully I have the manual. I do. Cool. All right. Oh, jeez. Got to move over all my, all my stuff here for PC mode. Okay. So, we got... We got this wizard guy. King's Quest 3 to air is human. Sure. He's got this cool chair. He's got... Quite the forehead. <laughs> hey, Aperture. Uh, that is... Alexander, I guess? Sure. Uh, so it's the same same box as King Quest 1 and 2. Roberta Williams, over 500,000 sold. Um, 3D animated, and this is... So system requirements here. This is the EGA and Tandy box. Double density, 3.5 inch discs. Um, 256K of memory. VGA, EGA, Tandy, 16 colors, or CGA, 4 color, or Hercules, 2 color. Supports a joystick and hard disk. All right. So King's Quest Toy to air is human. Got this 90s ass font here. <laughs> All right, the eagerly awaited sequel. Over 50,000 units sold in its first six weeks. Okay, on on just one computer. Okay, on one platform, I'm guessing. King's Quest 3 was the best received software sequel of the year. As the game moves to other computers, it is quickly becoming the best selling 3D animated adventure game in history. All right, sure. Whole new level of innovation. Like its predecessors, King's Quest 3 breaks new ground in the development of adventure games as an art form. Quest Busters, the adventurer's journal, praises the several exceptional innovations introduced in King's Quest 3, including the addition of pull-down menus. Asterisk. <laughs> Special self-mapping features and advanced parsing. Okay, so maybe I don't have to make my own map this time. That would be nice. Uh, the most sophisticated plot yet. Okay. King's Quest 3 also breaks new ground in the area of puzzles and plot. The complexity of the storyline and the intricate game puzzles make for a game that will challenge even the most experienced adventure. From what I've heard, that is absolutely true. Uh, subplots include an escape from slavery, piracy on the high seas, and the mastery of powerful magic. Cool. Computerized screenplay, King's Quest series of graphics extravaganza with plenty of color animation and quick screen changes. The locations and characters of King's Quest 3 are the most lifelike and interactive to date. Okay. The soundtrack, which includes well choreographed music and funny sound effects, adds new dimensions to the viewer's enjoyment. In fact, King's Quest 3 is nominated for Best Music in Computer Software by Software Publishers Association. So we're going to have more music than just like three tunes that were in the first two games. Got it. The most fun you can have playing adventure games. In 1983, Roberta Williams and her team of programming artists designed the original King's Quest playing system. Four years later, King's Quest games are still the most enjoyable adventure games available. Sure. Alright, and there's Roberta. Here's the final boss of King's Quest. So let's see these screenshots here. So these are what's selling you when you're in the, the game store picking up your new game. 
Can you escape the bondage of the evil wizard Mananan? Mananan. Mananan. Sure. Learn to use magic, but don't get caught. All right. Find the amazing truth, your real identity. Sure. That 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 looks better than nearly every screen that we saw in King's Quest 1 and 2. That looks pretty good. And like that screen that looks a lot like it something will be in King's Quest 2. And then that one, yeah, kind of the same. Though the the floor textures, I don't recall the the indoor parts of King's Quest 1 or 2 having floor floors that look that good. Um, take to the high seas with fierce pirates. Pirates don't usually have the Viking shields on the side of their their ships, but all right, sure. Oh, <laughs> so completion of King's Quest King's Quest 2 is recommended, but not required. And the Apple II E version apparently, or Apple II C, one of one of the Apple II versions does not have pull down menus, because Steve Jobs did not want the game to have that, I guess. All right, so in install media that came with the game, we got this diskette. So King's Quest one and two came on one three and a half inch floppy, and this one comes on two. So larger game it looks like. Uh, this shot is from version 2.14 with 2.936 interpreter version. So that's the engine that the game's on. And then it also came on these enormous five and a quarter inch floppies. And these ones took three five and a quarter inch floppies. So um, as the games got bigger and bigger, it actually costs more to produce them and ship them because you had to you had to pay for these floppies. They're not free, right? So <laughs> that's kind of the, the downside of, of gaming at that era is that someone's got to pay for that. All right. And then if I bring up this here. Okay. All right. King's Quest three to air is human. Got this cool drawing of there's trees, I guess. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Um, King's Quest Three. It's Air is Human. Written and designed by Roberta Williams. Programmed by Al Lowe, Bob Heitman, and Bob Kernigan. Graphics by Doug McNeil and Mark Crow. Music by Margaret Lowe. Story by Annette Childs. So Annette Childs, I think, wrote the... The story in King's Quest 2, if I remember correctly. Um, interesting. Okay. And yeah, it, it was pretty obvious when we played King's Quest 1 and King's Quest 2 that the addition of a dedicated story writer did wonders <laughs> for for the game and for the at least the descriptive writing um, in, uh, in that one. Okay. So a long, long time ago, when magic was the only science known to man, there dwelt in the land of Ludor a wizard named Manananan. He was very learned in all manners of heavens and earth. Of great age, Manananan presented a frail appearance as though his skin were made of bleached and weathered parchment. Manananan's impression of fragility lasted only until one looked into his coal black eyes, which burned with a strange fire. This was indeed a powerful wizard. Uh, although he is powerful and capable of conjuring up vast armies of spirit servants to sweep his hearth, prepare his meals, and other menial tasks with which he would not soil his hands, this solution to his everyday needs was not satisfactory to him, for he liked his solitude and didn't want a lot of spirits, who besides are also quite inquisitive and mischievous, cluttering up his house. Instead, he impressed a very young boy to do his bidding taking the lad when he was only a year old so he would have no memories to tug at him in the years to come. Alright. Unfortunately for Manandanan, boys grow up and become adventuresome young men. As his slave grew in stature and in strength, Manandanan was irritated to find him poking around in areas of the house where he didn't belong. Or he would climb down the narrow path leading to Manandanan's mountain-type retreat to explore the surrounding countryside, 
even punishment did not stop him for long. All right. One day when his slave was 18 years of age, the wizard found him practicing magic spells. That was the last straw. You, Manandanan screamed, you have read my books of spells and plundered my supplies of powders and potions. You have even ventured into Lulordor again against my express command, for nowhere else could you have gathered some of these ingredients. You think you will win freedom with these tricks, the wizard sneered? You shall see your own mistake. You've earned only your own demise. And with that, Manandanan raised his hands menacingly. Suddenly, the earth began to shake, and his slave was no more. Only a small pile of ashes remained where he stood. Next time, I won't make the same mistake, Manandanan snarled. I'll never let any of my slaves reach manhood. I'll have no more accidents. All right. So that was the the previous one in the household. And so the years passed, Manandanan went out and found another small boy to be his slave. He stole him from a country some distance from Ludor to direct suspicion away from himself. Manandanan was more careful with his child and watched him closely. The wizard punished the boy severely when he caught him away from the house, and he made sure the boy didn't get his hands on even any ordinary items that might be transformed into magic charms or potions. On the whole, Manandanan didn't have much trouble with him, but still, on the lad's 18th birthday, the wizard zapped him out of existence. Jeez. It's a nuisance having to train a slave all over again, but it's better than having trouble like the last time. And so he went on, every 17 years, kidnapping a small boy from his loving parents, then slaying him on the 18th anniversary of his birth. Occasionally, the cycle shortened slightly uh, when he unfortunately chose a precocious child that learned too much for his 18th year, and time went on. Okay, and that's uh, that's the backstory, apparently. All right, beginner adventure, that's me. Uh, if you haven't played any of your animated adventure games before, here's some suggestions. Look everywhere. Uh, first thing to do is look around. You'll get a description of the general area, often a clue or an indication. Sure. Explore each area of the game very carefully. Search the wizard's domain both inside and out, even or perhaps especially those places he doesn't want you poking around in. Venture out to mix and mingle with the inhabitants of the surrounding countryside of Ludor. Draw a map. That includes every place you visit, objects found, dangerous errors. Sure. Try not to miss any area or you miss something important. Yep. Uh, don't think if you've been there once will be the same the next time. Yep, we absolutely found that out uh, in the playthrough of two. Um, population of Ludor can move around as well. Uh, yep, just like two. Okay. In addition to constructing your own map, you may also find a certain magic map hidden in the wizard's house. It's up to you to unlock its special powers. Well, it sounds like I still have to make my own map. So, I will have to continue to do that. Keep your ears open. Talk to just about everyone you meet, but use discretion. Some characters will be friendly and helpful. They'll give you valuable info. Some will try to trick you. So, be ready to run and hide. If that doesn't work, you need to out with them. Okay. Pick up anything that isn't nailed down. Uh, Inventory is listed there, sure. Use the items you pick up to solve large and small problems. Some have obvious solutions. Uh, some require imagination. Yep. Be careful. Travel long and dangerous. Remain alert at all times. Yep. Save your game often. Uh, yep. Don't get discouraged. <laughs> all right. Come to an obstacle that seems insurmountable. Don't despair. Explore the game more and come back later and try again. If you're stuck, you might try backtracking to an earlier point in the game. <laughs> or buy the hint book. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so that's their advice. Hey, buy the hint book. Great. Thanks, Roberta. And uh, that was probably Ken who wrote that. Uh, following pages contain the only legible excerpts. From the Sorcery of Old, Mananan's Book of Magic, all other spells in the volume are so faded that they are indecipherable to mortal eyes. To perform any of these spells, open the Sorcery of Old to the appropriate page and follow the directions precisely. Any deviation from the correct procedure, including the exact recitation of the empowering verse, can cause fatal, if sometimes humorous, results. Note parentheses indicate descriptive text, not instructions you need to type into the computer. All right sure thing. Alright, understanding language of creatures. I assume that's a spell. Look at this cursive. Holy shit. Okay. So, ingredients. One small feather from a bird. One tuft of fur from any animal. 
one dried reptile skin, one rounded spoonful of powdered fish bone, one thimble pull of dew, one magic wand. Okay. Uh, put the small feather in the bowl. Put the. So these are all commands that we have to type in. Okay, mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this this is all stuff we won't have to worry about until later, I'm guessing. So you'll now be able to understand speech of animals, not be able to speak to them. They'll last as long as the dough in your, in your ears. Okay. All right, so we'll just go over what the spells are. So fly like an eagle, we need tail feather, fly wings, saffron, magic wand. Yep. So this will let us uh, transform into an eagle, it looks like. Uh, dip it. Dip the eagle feather if you want to become an eagle. Dip fly wings if you want to be a fly. Okay, so we can transform into both of those things, assuming we have the ingredients. Um, okay, so I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Uh, teleportation at random. Oh boy. That, okay. That's like the, the get out of jail card, I guess. Um... Salt grains, dried mistletoe, stone of unusual color. We have to kiss the stone. <laughs> okay, so we'll... After we enchant this stone, we'll have a charm to randomly teleport somewhere. Um, we can use the this, this stone to run away from danger, but it doesn't guarantee that you'll be teleported somewhere that's less dangerous. <laughs> Okay. And then the other spell over here is... What is this? Causing a deep sleep. Okay. Acorns, nightshade, a wand, and a pouch. Uh, casting a sleep spell over whoever is nearby to cast a spell. Pour it on the ground in a dank, dark place. Then recite that. Okay. Transforming someone else into a cat. All right. So cat's confirmed in this game. Uh, mandrake root powder, cat hair, fish ore? Oh, fish oil. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, created a cookie that when eaten will turn the victim into a cat forever. Sure. Uh, brewing a storm. Cup of ocean water, spoonful of mud. Pinch of toadstool power. Sure. Uh, mix a potion up. you can use to brew a storm to activate the spell. Stir the storm brew with your finger under sight. Brew storms turn it up. Outdoors. You'll get a storm. It'll last for some time, but it'll eventually rain itself out. Okay. There's probably some gameplay use for that. Uh, becoming invisible, that's going to be probably pretty useful. One jar of land, one cactus, a spoonful of cactus juice, two drops of toad spittle. All right. Um, we now have a magic ointment that allows you to turn invisible, but beware it only works in a place where there is both fire and mist. That That is oddly specific. Um... To cast it, rub the ointment on your body. You'll be invisible for a short while. You have enough one application. All right, so that sounds like a very, very specific gameplay thing. All right, other 3D animated games by Sierra. King's Quest, we already played that one. King's Quest 2, Romancing the Throne, we already played that one. Base Quest Chapter 1, The Siren Encounter. We saw the promo for that in King's Quest 2. Um, and we will be playing that. And then, of course, there's The Black Cauldron. Uh, Aulo, Roberta Williams, and Walt Disney. So based on the books by Lloyd Alexander and the feature film, it's for beginner or younger adventures. So even even I'll be able to beat it, I guess. Uh, I've never even heard of the Black Cauldron. So, sure. And then back of the manual, you just got the warranty. Copyright. Don't copy that floppy. Or else it's 25 grand. Uh, that's it. Okay, I think that's the only manual. So, it, from the looks of things, we are absolutely going to need the manual for uh, for this one. So, I'll have to 
have to keep that open it looks like all right so let's uh let's do it i'm gonna meet the music until we uh actually get into the game and apparently i was clicked out of my thing here here we go all right let's uh start the timer here okay all right Sierra, King's Quest 3, sounds like we got sound, I gotta make sure I got the PC speaker turned on, and yep, we got it, let's get a few dings here just for uh, old time's sake. I don't have my FPS program launched. Let me launch it real quick here. Uh, let's see. FPS analyzer. It opened on the wrong screen because I was playing Shenmue. Data path. Analog. Go. Okay. And now we can turn on this. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Oh man, look at this opening. The Viewmaster. Key grip Ken Williams. <laughs> Six people on QA for this one, huh? I, I'm assuming this is still cutscene because there's no parser. All right, Gwydion is a lonely lad of 17 who has lived for as long as he can remember with an evil and cruel wizard by the name of Manadanan. Gwydion gazes upon the countryside of Ludor with a longing, wishing he were free to leave, but alas, such is not the case. Manananan treats the poor boy like his slave, ordering him about, constantly threatening him, and refusing to ever let him leave the premises. Often Gwydion wonders who he really is and how he came to live with the old wizard, but Manananan offers no help in that. Sure. These are really quick text boxes. <laughs> Suddenly, the front door opens and out stalks Mananan and the wizard. Woody and he shouts harshly. Uh oh. Gwydion rushes to his side, afraid he may be in trouble. Why are you not working, boy? The wizard sneers. Gwydion mumbles a faint reply. The kitchen floor is filthy. Mananan grumbles. Go sweep it now. Turning on his heel, the wizard re enters the house, slamming the door behind him. Such is the story of young Gwydion's life to this point. What's a poor boy to do? Oh well. In resignation, Gwydion obediently follows Mananan into the house. Alright. And then it just loops, I guess? I'm assuming that... Okay, yeah, so it moves. Okay. Alright, so there is... There's a timer at the top center of the screen now, so that's new. First two games didn't have that. Um, So clock on and off, pause game. So the pause is probably going to be very important in this one. Uh, inventory. So there's there's even less things in the action menu now. Um... It used to have... So, King's Quest 1 had duck, swim, and jump. 
and King's Quest 2 had just swim, I think. And then this has this has nothing. Uh AQ3, version 214, playing for zero minutes, seven seconds. Okay. All right, let's make our initial save here. Start. Okay. All right, look around. Man entry house into the wizard's house. The front doors to the south, creaky stairs go upstairs, and doorways lead north and to the east. Okay, so... I don't have my notes page set up properly here. So we want rule lines like that. So big chunky lines here. So this is the, let's say, uh, let's say this will be the house. So this is just going to be the entry. And that's, I'm going to need much smaller, uh, much smaller pen for this, I think. Because I have a feeling we're going to be taking a lot of detailed notes here. So entry. Sure. All right. So we got front door to the south, creaky stairs upstairs, and doorways north and east. All right. I also see a cat. That detestable pet of the ends is a constant annoyance. We pet the cat. Oh, hold on. I got to turn off numpad here. Can we pet the cat? The thought of doing anything nice to that obscene ball of fur makes you sick. <laughs> All right. You cannot pet the cat. Cannot pet the cat in this game. Oh. Uh. All right. Cat animation. All right, let's go over here, I guess. So this is the... Over here is the... So it's not the kitchen. This is kind of the dining room, I guess. Sure. Okay. So there's, there's still no music in the game, apparently. So we'll... Uh... guess we're doing that okay so we got it's where my nan nan eats his meals you of course are not supposed to eat here you eat in the kitchen there's a pine table and benches large enough to seat at least 10 people but the wizard has never had any guests for dinner okay look moose Okay. It's the wizard kitchen of the wizard's house. So then you're in the bed chamber. This is the only place in the house that you feel you can call your own. The wizard rarely enters the kitchen. On cold days, the fireplace is a cozy place to sit. All right. What we got here? Right now, loaf of bread, fruit, and a mutton chop. Okay. Eat mutton. Once you tasted it, you wouldn't want it. What? Sure. Uh, so there's... There's just way more things in this... In the game than there were in 2. Kitchen, yeah. Okay. It's not a broom. This, this is a, a churn, maybe? Butter churn? Looking at the butter churn, muscles ache. Okay. Like it it was usually pretty apparent when we were playing one and two, like what was a a usable item and what isn't. In this, there's just stuff all over the screen. Uh so how how are you supposed to know? Okay, the the clay bowl is a um uh, it's a spell ingredient, I think. Let's see if we can do this, by the way. How would you do that? Can we climb up? 
chimney? What's a chimney? <laughs> sure thing. Roberta's pulling a bobby here. Uh, look at yellow thing. <laughs> oh man, I uh. This game just goes full Bobby. Oh, there's a cat again. That's following us around. Scrutinize the moose head very carefully, but you see it is nothing but an old head. You do feel sorry for it. Okay, is the moose head gonna... Alright, I'm already gonna have to go back to the manual here. So is there a spell thing for one of these for like moose fur so do do moose have fur because maybe we could get a tuft of fur from the moose or maybe from the cat perhaps that might be a uh, a use for the moose um hmm sure Uh. Whoop. Woody and you were assigned a chore. You know what happens to lazy boys. The kitchen is still dirty. When will you learn to obey? You need to work off a little of that weight. Boy, do you hate these. But no pain, no magic. What? What? You okay? All right, I guess we're cleaning the kitchen. I I I was going to clean the kitchen. All right, let's d d clean kitchen. <laughs> no more of that. Uh. Oh. Okay. All right, we're busy. We're we're doing it. We're doing it. Whew. All right. We good. Whew. All right. We clean the kitchen. Mananan. Decided to take a journey. Okay. Alright, so he's leaving the house. So now's our time to explore, I guess. Uh. Okay. Alright. It's a hat. I see. All right, so what's in here? Yeah, the cat's in here. Okay, so this is the study, it seems. And let's uh, 
let's say that this is the this one this is actually no there is a so there's a door here study looks like it has only one way in and out uh, dining room had one door here and nothing else there and then a door there entry had a front door right there and it also had stairs up uh, okay all right Banana Nan is very private with his study and doesn't like you poking around. The huge oak desk is covered with his writing implements. An oak cabin is in the corner where there's a chart on the rear wall. The bookshelves are filled with subjects on every books on every subject. Nancy is a scholar. Okay. Um, open source telestrator? No, it's uh, here. I'll show you the setup. It is. So here's here's the setup. I got the the game, the CRT, the DOS PC, and all that. Um, over here is a uh, NDI feed coming from OBS, and it's got a program called uh, Something Paint, and I use that for Telestrator. This is a Surface Pro, and it's using OneNote, so I'm using OneNote for um, notes, maps, and all that. And then over here is the chats and all that. And then over here is the all the other PCs and all that. So that's uh, that's the setup for all that. Transparent, yes, yeah, yes, transparent paint. I um I modified it so that it's uh it's easier with a touch interface. Um, but yes, it is. It's a slightly modified version of touch paint. Yeah, I use a trackball because there's limited room on my desk, or on my. I'm using a little laptop cart for my um, my portable uh, stream setup here. So it looks like that. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure how much I can do with the cat here. What's a trash? Uh, massive desk, make from oak. Oh, reading, writing, calculating here. Sure. What's a safe? Well, what is this thing? Is this a oak cabinet? Brass handle on the door. Feather duster. Okay. Try to open. Doors locked. Okay. I'm assuming the cat won't mind. Is that is this a map or a window? What the hell is this? Or is it a painting? Uh, you can see most of the countryside from this vantage point. Okay. What's the papers? Oh my god! Are, are we just gonna get Bobby answers for everything that? <laughs> Open a drawer in the desk. You open the large desk only drawer, but you see nothing interesting. Okay. Can we sit in the chair? Nope. Of course not. So many books lie on the bookshelf. You wonder when Manana Nana is time to read them all. Titles cover many subjects from ancient Arabic mythology to a study of the heavens to the philosophies of Socrates. Socrates. Uh. Okay. Sure. What's a painting? What? Uh, did they call it a photo? What's a... Yo. This is... This almost seems like a step back over King's Quest 1 and 2. If I'm honest. 
portrait? Yeah, let's try portrait. Nope. <laughs> or is that port or look portrait? What's the portrait? Tell me about Japan. Okay, so on the second floor, up the stairs. So we'll call this 2F. Uh, so it'll be like this, this. We got more stairs up. Um, I assume there's no room to the left of this, so we'll say this is... Uh, This is 2F, 1F. Okay. So we got an open entryway to the right, and then door over there. Yeah, the scum engine. That's the, the Maniac Mansion um, verb-based engine that... Uh, was developed. I think Ron Gilbert made that. Okay, so let's try the room over here. Is this Mananin's bedroom? <laughs> I, uh. Okay, it is. I. Alright. Okay. See fine furnishings from a regal bed to a beautifully carved closet. You can't help but compare this handsome room to your own meager, meager cubicle. Oh boy. Alright, so he's got a... I assume that's a chamber pot down there. Chamber pot is on the floor. Can we poop in chamber pot? What's a poop? Okay. Heavy velvet curtains drape the regal mahogany bed. Okay. So this... Oh, man, look at that mirror tech. And it even lags behind by a frame. <laughs> okay. oh. In the vanity drawer, there are many uninteresting items. Although the wizard hand mirror may come in handy. You grab it. Okay. So that's... So this is the bedroom and it looks like there's only one one thing here okay. uh, open dresser not sure what the white thing is on top of the look on top of dresser nothing exciting look Tapestry? Sure. Okay. What about the rug? Look under rug. Lift up the rug in several places. Look under it. Sad to say, all you see is the dust. Okay. Alright, so not much there except for the mirror. And then, I assume this is our room. Uh, so we got oh, this, that. Um, so that's the continuing stairs up. And we got our room. Sure. Yeah, I, I like the, the detail in the, the artwork in this compared to the previous two. Like, you can clearly see they got way more comfortable with uh, either the tools they're working with or um, got better artists or something because it's, it's pretty apparent how much better it is. Okay. It's your own pitiful bedchamber compared to Manan and Ann's fine room. Yours is almost a cell. The bed is hard and uncomfortable with only a threadbare banquet and a small flat pillow. The other furnishings are junk, but as poor as it is, it's your own haven as a wizard never enters it. Okay. 
Man, the um the amount of writing in this game, it's like there's more written words in just this house than like both King's Quest 1 and 2 combined. Like <laughs> they're really uh much more wordy on their their descriptions so far in uh in 3. All right, so let's see what's upstairs here. Okay, so there's a uh, that looks like a fly over in the corner. Um, so this is technically the third floor, but I'm just gonna say that this is the. This is the observatory. Uh, telescope. And it looks like there's a fly in the corner. So that's probably going to be the fly for one of our spells that uh, we'll be using later. Enter the musty tower of the old wizard's house. Apollo's brass telescope is directed out a window from here. Mananan spies upon the poor occupants of Ludor. I assume this is a fly. You see nothing. What? Get fly. You pick up the dead fly and drop it into your hand. Disgustedly, you look around. I don't want to carry around a dead fly, you think. Picking off its wings, you throw the rest away. Okay. Handy. Because we only need the wings. All right, look, telescope. Mananan has a brass telescope pointed out a window. It is well polished. He uses the telescope. Keep tabs. Yep. Yeah, use telescope. Oh. You put your eye to the glass. It amazes you how near everything seems. You can even see squirrels climbing faraway trees. No wonder the wizard knows all activities. Okay. All right, so... Not too much to go off of here. Uh oh. Cat better not trip me on the way down. Cat. 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 I. Uh. All right, good. <laughs> Be nice to animals, folks. Don't do that in real life. This is King's Quest. Do not kick cats. All right. Okay, so that's... Uh... I'd imagine... The wizard's probably going to be back pretty soon. Because he left at the like three-minute mark or so. Uh, so we already saw most of the stuff in the house. So let's, uh, see what we got here. The mountain rises from the forest of Ludor to this cloud and circle peak. Here's the somber house of Manandanan where you and he reside. A couple of chickens strut about their chicken coop. As all chickens do, they peck, scratch, and collect the four things. It will end up as the old wizard's dinner one day. There's a bag of chicken feed behind the fence beside the chicken coop. Okay. I assume that's for the feed the chickens activity. Uh... Full chicken feed. Okay. Can we pet the chickens? Nope. Can we pick up chicken? Uh, door... <laughs> Open pen door. Climb fence. Get chicken feather. Catch chicken. <laughs> Open gate. Okay. Close gate. Oh. Catch chicken. Okay, catch chicken. Get feather. 
Gently pluck a small feather and let it go. Okay. Okay, so that's where we get our chicken feather for a spell. I'm assuming there's a place somewhere in the house to to do wizard things. I didn't see anything though. Like maybe it's in the study. And then what's a oh geez. This this looks like a good time. Okay. All right, winding paths spiral steeply down the mountainside. Was this house at the top? The forest below. All right. So this is separate from Wizard's house. So we'll just. Uh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be difficult to uh, to map. I think. Um. We'll say that 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 is Wizard's house. And then, let's say, starting from here will be the proper map. So, Mananen House. And then south of it is the, uh, what would this be? Mountain Path, I guess? And it looks like the only way from here is is down. And I guess kind of the, the same deal for here. So we'll say that. And then like that. Oop. Okay. All right. Let's see what's on the other side of the screen. Hopefully not death. This, this seems like a good place to save. How? What are you supposed to do about this rock here? Like, where's the path behind this rock? Uh. Okay, and then you just go right. Okay. This is. Okay, we made it, okay, and then base of the mountain here, sure, oh. okay. hello Hydro, greetings, uh, okay, so this is the this is mountain base. Let's just say base. Sure. Okay. Um, so what's here? Low mountain rises sharply from the forest floor. It's jagged peak and circled by dark clouds. Treacherous path winds its way up the steep mountainside. You and the wizard live at the peak. Okay. All right. Got to make sure not to fall off of this path here. I'm sure even that drop there will probably result in a death. And it does. <laughs> I was right, turns out. Oh god, we're back here. Okay. <clears throat> yep, this one foot drop. It's kind of like the the game over in Shenmue 2 falling in the river. Like, oh no, you got your your shoes wet. Game over. That's kind of another thing that Shenmue didn't have. It didn't have stuff like that. Like, the, the few QTEs that it did have were just chase sequences and a few fights. There's nothing goofy like that. Alright. 
Okay, we made it. Made it to the base of the mountain. Sure, that's how you spell mountain. Okay, let's uh let's go north. Or south. So it looks like we got just forest. We got path and then forest. Okay. Many beautiful trees. Okay. Can we look at the rocks? How do they describe the rocks here? If you've seen one rock, you've seen them all. <laughs> okay. All right. What is south from here? So I wonder if the uh, the game world wraps around in this one. So in King's Quest... Three clothed bears. Beautiful day to stroll through the forest. Okay. Okay. So we got... South of there was three bears house. It looks like they got look plants. Soft grass, that's not grass though. This is they're growing something here. <laughs> uh look crops? What's a crops? What look look uh is that flower bed? Okay, flower garden. Okay, can we get flowers? Sure. Okay. The last time I saved. Uh. Comfortable home of the three bears. Well tendered flower garden grows out front. Okay. So we're gonna go inside their house and steal all their stuff, I guess. So the, the three bears was, the story of the three bears was the porridge, I think. One is too hot, one's too cold, and one's just right. Um, okay. I don't see anything that sticks out to me as something usable. Okay, so we can't go left here, so it's just main room and then upstairs. Uh, okay. You had cozy bedroom, three beds, and chest drawers. Okay. Open drawer. Uh, thimble. Okay. I don't like this delay that the game does. Okay. So in here is the 2F thimble. So let's see, the the thimble was, what was that for? Um, fishbone, saffron, fly like an eagle. Uh, deep sleep, it's not that. Mistletoe, stone, mandrake root, pinch, storm, it's not that. Is okay, so this isn't a spell thing, apparently. Half cup, spoonful, I don't see anything about a thimble. One tough. Rounded spoonful. Oh, thimbleful. Okay. There we go. One thimbleful of dew is the second to last ingredient of this one. Um, and that's understanding the language of creatures. So we need that for a spell. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I... Uh, 
the first two games, whenever you did something like that, it wouldn't have that weird delay. Uh, and when we were inside the house and we opened something, it was like the the vanity, I want to say. It, uh, it automatically gave us the item in it, but it didn't this time for this one. Uh, okay, let's keep heading south here and just map out things. But yeah, um, King's Quest 1 wrapped in all directions. Uh, east, west, and north, south. King's Quest 2 only wrapped north, south. So, I'm wondering if this game does the same thing or not. And I guess we'll find out the more we play. Okay, so what is south of here? Okay. So we got some sort of cave thing. We got a a spring, let's say. Spring and some birds. Spring and bluebirds. Sure. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice screen. I think this uh, this screen was on the back of the box, if I remember correctly. Many beautiful trees, sense of peace, impassable mountain to the south. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is the south boundary of the world map. Oh, okay. See a majestic eagle. Okay, so um, an eagle feather. Oh, there's a feather that animated right there. Okay. So we need the eagle feather for... Okay. So what we got here? Interesting. There's an asterisk next to most of these things. Small night. No more than a piece of fluff. What? Hmm. But the bowl doesn't have an asterisk. Interesting. And I I guess the common thing that those have in common are maybe items that the wizard would be upset if if we were found with them. I guess. And I, I guess he knows what's in our inventory just looking at us, I suppose. Uh Huh. Okay. Um, I gotta make a note of that eagle feather. Eagle feather. I'm assuming these bluebirds don't uh, don't have anything to do with anything. Two pretty birds looking at you. Um, I don't think we need a bird feather besides the eagle feather for any uh any spells um i wonder if this uh if this waterfall thing here has uh has anything to do with a spell um maybe like the the weather related spells like the the brewing a storm maybe so one cup ocean water one spoonful of mud, tone stool, powder. Okay, so nothing about specifically waterfall water. Uh, ball of cat hair. Um, dried thistle, acorns, nightshade. Uh, uh, tail feather from any eagle. Pair of fly wings. Saffron, nope. Small feather from a bird. Uh, we do have that chicken feather come to think of it. So maybe that'll do for our bird feather. One tuft of fur from any animal. Powdered fish bone. Thimble full of dew. So maybe the dew we can get from like usually the the dew you get from flowers and there's a flower bed and I, I think it the game mentioned dew. Otherwise an interesting. Baldy. <laughs> nice. I want to. Oh.
All right, good thing I came from the south. Look, flowers. Yeah, drops of dew, okay. Um, so it's thimble full of dew, specifically. So we need to use thimble with dew. Use that? What? I, I do have a thimble. Use thimble on flower. We have a thimble. Use thimble. What do you want to do with it? Get do with thimble. It's of no use. I oh. collect do. What's a con? <laughs> <sighs> Um, use thimble with flower. What? <sighs> get do? Okay, it's it's just get do. Okay. Holding the silver thimble beneath the dew-filled flower, you gently tip the flower so its dew runs into the thimble. Move from flower to flower, repeating the process until your thimble is brimming with dew. Okay? All right. Gotta do. Never mind. Oh, I, I'd rather not have suggestions slash tips, by the way, because those can just very easily be spoilers, and I'd like to figure these out on my own if I can. I will very specifically ask for help if I need it, though. All right. So it looks like we're by some sort of body or water. Um. So this is to the west of Three Bears' house. This is where the bears went. And this is kind of a a beach cliffside. Let's just say this is a beach cliff. Okay, so what's on the screen? Look around. Standing atop a bluff overlooking the ocean. Okay, so that's the ocean. You see a village to the north. Soft grass. The forest has been replaced by the coarse grass of the seashore. Trees here have stunted and twisted by the strong ocean winds. Okay, so the ocean is to our to our right. Okay. There's something on this tree. One of the trees has a light green colored plant growing upon it. You notice that it's mist. Okay, mistletoe is a thing that we need. You search among it until you find a sprig that's dried. You break it off and carry it with you. Okay, so we we need the mistletoe for something. Um, so this is where we get that. Mistletoe. Okay. Um, do the do. do, do. <laughs> uh, Alright, dried sprig of mistletoe is a thick grayish green with remnants of little berries still attached. It is not a pretty plant. <laughs> okay. The writer doesn't like mistletoe, apparently. Um. Alright. Uh let's head south here actually, because we're we're so close to the edge of the game world, it seems that. That sure. This is um this is a DDR song, by the way. And very rarely do they, uh, or a Bamani song, I, I guess, to be more specific. Oh, geez. Okay, maybe this isn't, that isn't the edge of the world. Okay, so this is like a spider cave, maybe? What is this? A huge dark cave, and, and that looks like a spider web to me. Um, so let's just say it's a cave now I don't remember if there was a spell that required anything spider spider adjacent um like spider web look web it's the largest spider web you've ever seen can't help but wonder about the spider which could create such a web okay uh 
yeah, I want to check and see if there's a... Is there anything that needs a spider web? Another... Neither of those. Teleporting? Grains, mistletoe, a rock. Nope. Nightshade? Nope. Cat hair? Nope. Ocean water? Mud? Nope. Becoming invisible? Cactus? Nope. Okay, so yeah, there's no use for... For spider... Spider stuff. Interesting. Okay. Uh... Huh. Okay, can I go south from this screen? I can. Oh boy, this is kind of complicated. Alright, so we have a river that's kind of running through, or I guess this is probably more of a stream, if I'm honest here. Uh, maybe it's the kind I can ford easily. Beautiful stream. Is this kind of stream that will kill me if I touch it? Wet mud. Okay, so this is where we get mud. Um... Yeah, this, this game absolutely looks better than than both 1 and 2. Uh, it looks like we can get mud here. And we do need mud for something. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to... The next time we stream this, because this will likely be a multi-stream game, um, I'm going to have to have a slightly different setup for switching between maps and manuals here. Um, so mud was brewing a storm, is what mud is for. So a spoonful of mud with toadstool power and ocean water. Yep, the trees. Let's see what they gotta say about the trees. Okay. Doing look trees tells me about the stream. So, sure. Uh, okay, can we get the mud here? Carrying around a handful of mud doesn't appeal to you. So it's... The the spell calls for a spoonful of mud. So we need a spoon in order to do anything with that. So... Uh, need... Spoon. Okay. All right, can we walk through the stream? Yep, okay. Man, look at that. Look at that unique animation for walking around the stream. King's Quest 2 wouldn't have done that. All right, so got to say about the rocks. Yep. All right, so let's keep heading south here. Okay. Is this... Is this the town we saw in the distance? What is this perspective? Uh, town. We got a tavern and a store. What is this? Uh, so, so we. I assume this is the same town, and we saw that from up here, at the the beach cliff right there so maybe the it's either a separate town or it wrapped around already um huh weird okay where even am i i came here from the north <laughs> uh all right i'll just start heading left and see where that takes us Okay, there we are. 3D adventure game. Alright, entered a quaint seaside town. Smoke curls lazily from the houses and shops overlooking the ocean. A pier stretches out into the bay. Near the pier, you notice a store and a tavern. Okay. So it sounds like there's a pier to the right. And that looks like a net over there. Probably can't... What's it... 
the net is right in front of you. It is right in front of you. All right, what's in the store? Kenny? All right, can we pet the dog? Oh. What can I do for you? Sir, I'd like to pet your dog. Yo, we can pet the dog in King's Quest 3. Get that Twitter account on the horn. As you pet the dog, Kenny licks your hand and thumps his tail in appreciation. A small wad of dog fur collects in your hand and you tuck it into your pocket for later use. Okay. Um, so this is where we get the... Uh, dog fur. Okay. What do they got here? Full general merchandise and supplies to meet the needs of the village. A friendly storekeeper bustles busily behind the counter. Ask about wares. What's a ask? <laughs> what? What? Ask about or talk about store. I've got some dusting to do. Okay. Can we can we take something while he's doing that? Huh. I don't see anything that can be permanently borrowed from the store besides the the dog fur. Alright, the tavern is probably a no-go for now. So we got to the east, we have a pier. Okay, so there's a ladder down to the beach. Um, we do need ocean water. Uh, and that's for... We need one cup of ocean water. And I don't think we have any cups. Thimble and do bowl. We have a bowl, but no cups. Okay. So let's just see what else is on the... Sandy Beach, which is north and south, below steep grassy cliffs. Okay, so we can still walk in either direction. I assume falling off the pier is just, is just death. Okay, we have more pier. <laughs> A very long pier. Sandy beach stretches. This is a beach? Uh. Okay. We'll take your word for it, Roberta. End of the pier. That's <laughs> the Sandy Beach. I uh, sure. All right, I don't see anything particularly useful. I see a a pixel. There is a single black pixel up there. That I'm not sure what the deal with that is. I don't think that was on the screen to the to the left. It is. Huh. I don't know what that is. Okay. So back to town. We'll try going into the tavern. And I don't think we have a need for any sand. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can get uh Lime down. Lime ladder. You just get on it? Okay. That works too. I'm going to see if we can just get ocean water from right here. Get ocean water. 
We need a cup. Okay. I assume a good place to get a cup will be the tavern. Assuming I can just take one and they won't object too much. Bottles of rum and wine, set atop the shelves behind the bar. Three barmaid. Buxom barmaid has an air of hardened determination. You get the feeling that she doesn't take any guff from anybody. Uh, let's see. Get, can we get a cup? It's of no use. Uh, talk to barmaid. Tosser replies, what will it be for you, sir? A good pull of ale, or would you rather a Durham rum? Uh, if, if we need a cup, then I guess ale is what we want. Uh, get ale? Buy ale. Dang it. We had no money. Okay. Alright, can we... Okay, we get the sword. Free swords. Alright, no free swords. So no free drinks, no free swords. Uh, can we can we just sit here? Sit at the table. Okay. Alright, can't do that, I guess. So there's a big old boat anchor over there, but it's too heavy to move. Okay. All right, we haven't been to the south of here yet. So I guess we're moving on. There's more buildings to the north, but uh, we've already been to the north, and that's where that, um, that spring with the mud was. Interesting. Oh, this, this is where we got the... Uh, this is where the mistletoe was, right? Interesting. So... So it looks like this wraps around to here. What? And... Huh. That that is a weird rap. Well, yeah, I was right about a rap, but this is a weird rap. I I'm not even sure how that even works. Um so it's got some sort of north north and I, the reason I say that's weird is because there's um there's this which is still north of where that rap happens. So the the rap happens right here. But there's still stuff north of it <laughs> like, that, that's why I'm kind of baffled as to how this works um, but alright sure I guess that's what notes are for so let's say this and this are wraparound points alright okay so if so say we go west here this should be the three bears house unless something is really weird it is and oh geez <laughs> um okay and then east of here is just the ocean yeah yeah, yeah. it doesn't have to happen there yeah you're right it's just how i drew it and i guess that does make sense because there's a mountain there Okay, yeah, this is... <laughs> I might have to redraw the map. Because, yeah, there is... Um... So this right here, below the spring, is an impassable mountain. And maybe that's the base of the the north face of the mountain. Um, where Mananan's place is. Uh... But still, that this implies that there's a 
um, that the world map is only four four spaces north and south when there are oh, I guess it is four for the mountain up to the the base of the mountain but it's it's offset though. Like these, these four here, let's say, uh, this one. So these four here, and then there's these four here. I don't know. This, <laughs> I'm just going to keep mapping. <laughs> it's just something to, something to keep in mind. Okay. All right. So, uh, assuming I go... I'm going to go back to the town and I'm going to head west. And so west from here is is that. This is the path. Um, so this screen, this screen is this. And we came west from the town, which is this. Um, so, uh, yeah, okay, so you're saying the, the town, the town is up here? So this is, all right, so this screen So all this stuff. So west from the town is this. I guess. Okay. My brain hurts from playing Shenmue all day. <laughs> I haven't had to use my brain for most of this stream. Uh... And then, so if I, if I go back to the town, I, oh, uh, okay, so this is a bad guy spawn, I guess. Um, so this is rogues. So we got bad guy rogue spawn. Okay. All right. Um, so if we go back to the tavern and so I, I'm, it's mostly, I'm mostly confused because of the river, the stream, but it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Let's see what's to the, the west of here. I'm kind of surprised that the wizard hasn't uh, hasn't hunted me down yet. Okay, so we got a a tree with some acorns. It looks like tree, and I think acorns were a spell ingredient. Uh, and as usual, pull up the old thing here. Ocean water, so no. Turning into a cat is magic root, cat hair, fish ore, no. Fish oil. Mistletoe, stone, nope. Um, out. Three dried acorns. Okay, so we do need that for causing a deep sleep. Okay. So acorns, absolutely needed. And this is where we get them. Acorns. Okay. Pick 
Pokemon with full acorns, looking for dried ones. You find three dried acorns, take them with you. Okay. Uh, acorns. Got them. Okay. Uh, so let's head south from here and see what we got. Okay. Those are woodpeckers, I guess. Soft loamy soil gives way to the great desert. Oh, good, a desert in King's Quest. Can't wait. So this is... Uh... I'm not sure what the significance of the screen is. Oh, there's a cactus over there. Aha. We do need a cactus for a thing. Mm-hmm. Too prickly. Okay. Interesting. What cat? What? Look, cactus. Oh, it's because I wasn't facing it. Uh, sure. Um. Okay. So this is let's just say broken tree. Uh, we haven't been to the screen south of us yet. Oh, I just saved, didn't I? Okay, we got... What's up with these rocks? Okay. Maybe that cactus is, uh... Something we can interact with. I'm going to call this like broken walls, maybe. Broken wall. That I, I need to write that better. I won't be able to tell what that is. Uh, spring. Broken wall. Okay. Look. Cactus. Can't handle it. Okay. Um. So if we go south of here, there should be one more screen and then it wraps around again. If the... Uh, what I'm thinking holds up here. Okay, so we get just another... Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. I was I was thinking like, yeah, these would be perfect screens for bandits to spawn on. Um trees and bandits. Cuz I don't see any other purpose for a screen like this. So, let's head north. I guess I could allow them to catch me at some point, but the uh, eh. Okay. And I assume that wrapping around to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I, ooh. Ah. Uh. Take sing okay. Okay, so everything in our inventory that had a, an asterisk next to it is gone. So, he, it, we can't be caught by Manananan with anything with an asterisk on it. Got it. And then... Uh... Okay. Alright, I want to see if I can explore more then before we're... 
Okay, if I load this... And then... If, if I head on home from here... Maybe we can make it home in time. And then... So the, the descriptive test text of Gwydion's room said that Mananin never enters his room. This is going to be real fun trying to navigate this. Um, so I I guess you have to hide all your count your contraband stuff in uh, in his room. Okay. Going back to house. Okay. But we gotta get there first. Don't oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Already counted that death. I thought I was safe there. Oh my god, why did they put this blind... Like, how the hell are you supposed to tell where you are? <sighs> this is from Armored Core? Really? Is it one of the, the later ones? Because Armored Core 1 definitely did not have music like this. Okay. Alright, we made it back. Now we gotta make it upstairs and hide all of our stuff. I can't believe we were able to, <laughs> to be... Oh, shit. there's a way to cheese this but I I have the feeling I need to load like a much earlier save and we need to approach approach this differently I'm getting the feeling so I heard that's one of the the challenges of this game was that you have to be really strategic with what you do and when and with what. And it seems we can't just go out into the world with no plan. Alright, just in case. Alright, can I cheese this out by going in here and then... And then make it out while he's poofing in. I'm hitting that that two key. Dang it. Okay. So I think we're kind of in a, a soft lock here, because we we can't make it into any of the the places where we can hide our stuff. So clearly being out of the house for I think he left at the five minute mark on the, the on the timer. So that's gonna have to be one of the things that we figure out is exactly when we can leave, when we can come back, and when it's when and where it's safe to do things. Um also still not sure where to actually do magic in the house. Um though this looking at this screen, that that right there looks like there might be some sort of trap door there maybe or maybe something to do with the bookcases 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll we'll figure it out next time. So I think we'll call this for tonight because it's uh it's almost four. So I gotta process the vods for this. And uh we will continue this the next time I stream. Alright. So that will do it for tonight. We uh, we beat Shenmue 3. It was kind of a disappointment. Um, if you haven't seen the VOD for that, the VOD for that will be up uh, sometime in the next five or so hours. Unless you want to watch the, the YouTube streamed VOD in slightly lower quality. Um, I made a change to my archiving scripts this afternoon so that uh, it'll actually post onto my site, onto Twitter, and onto Discord when the VODs are actually able to be watched and not when they first get starting the upload. So it, it should be way more accurate now when you can actually watch the, the high quality archives of the stream now. So I finally figured out how to do that. It turns out making arrays and, and all that in Bash script is not as, as straightforward as I thought it would be, but I figured it out. And it's just another thing that is now working much better on the stream now. So, as always, thank you for joining me tonight on our, our magical video game adventure. I hope you all have a great day, night, morning, or evening, wherever you're at. And I'll see you next time. Take care.